So I was not born with one leg. I had cancer. And if anyone had ever told me my life that, ah, one day you have one leg or one day this will be your life, I would have said it's a lie. In my second year in university, boom, I didn't even believe what cancer was because now just small small they hear cancer. So when I had cancer, how can I have cancer? Of everybody in the old world, when I go come get cancer, people will be said they get plenty of children for their house and no God no see them to give them cancer. I mean, not only me, my mama and papa born now, but I won't give me cancer. I went through all that denial. And there was a time I stopped going to church or church fellowships because every time it's like they wanted to use me to do practice, your leg will grow. I'm not disputing that God doesn't do creative miracles. Well, every that. Christian that watches this, Jesus does not need your embellishment. True. Yes. He's popular enough, he's powerful enough, and he's able enough. My, my mama born five. Okay. But we're only two. You understand? I was born a twin. My twin sister died. And then another set of twins. Now, um, the boy um, and the, the boy was had sickle cell okay. and he died when he was nine. You understand? The girl later died in 2011, a long time ago. My younger brother at that time, the way we say you go to waka for road, he cannot do that for long. The guy go waka in leg go begin pain to match ground because I didn't know that that was always he was going through. Mm. I, would, I mean, you go pick them for school. Same school that time. I would go, oh, hurry up, come on, come on, hurry up, come on, hurry up. Mm. So like, when I remember, it, it, it makes me shed tears. Do you get what I'm saying? Hmm. Sorry, sorry. Welcome to the Honest Bunch podcast. Thank you so much that you are always there. <sighs> we appreciate you. Every Monday, 6 p.m. Eh? The way when we say Una, they follow us back to back. Thank you so much. You are the reason why we curate great content because we know, say, we the impact lives and they learn. You don't print your certificate, Avi, from the last episode. Uh, we tell you, go print them now because that experience, eh? Now, full university on its own. And today would be eye-opening. And I want to appeal to everyone to please, please pay attention. In the Honest Bunch podcast, for us, we are in the business of saving lives. And that is what we are essentially about. Uh, before I begin to introduce the usual suspects and the not-so-usual suspects, uh, very important information, Resida. For like three, four episodes now, now don't hear me, they talk about Resida, Resida, Resida. And I hope say don't they reside inside Una memory now. When you talk about real estate, now these people be number one, no? Accessible, accessible. Listen, accessible, accessible. Make God not let you go where you go go fight with some people when they use bow and arrow before you go reach the land where they carry you go. Or you will go where as you step on the land, your leg will sink. This one's go give you land where we say you get proper documentation. No omoni le wahala. Say, uh, madam, the only problem with this place is once we give you this land now, just fence it round and put light and put gate. Any other person that is coming, we know is somebody that belongs to, if this land belongs to somebody, which we see that you don't get that problem. Now, they don't come make them very, very easy. They would give you a discount and you're riding on our wings. Thank you, Lord. We thank you. Just go to their DM. Don't thank eh? us. Thank God. Just enter their DM, type, Honest bunch, they go no say you be our family, and they will give you family price. Go and be blessed. No, don't thank me. Go and be blessed. <laughs> um, do mommy the jig. We don't they talk about them for a very long time. These guys now back to back. I tell you now, now see do mommy see Grammy. It's coming close. This Friday went past, then drop song Ojoro featuring Alpha P. Adult Nation, Sa adults, Adult Nation Entertainment. You guys are doing well. Continue to give us great music. A free price. May God not let person go price market when we say no fee buy. If you they buy items when get quality, go on top of a free price. And most importantly, as you they buy when you get quality, you feel also win better price. Let me go straight into the introduction of our usual suspects. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to begin by my immediate rights because blessed are thou amongst women. She's a Jesus girl. She's a woman of Jerusalem. She's super smart and intelligent. You not get any woman when you go date for the panel of the Honest Bunch podcast where you know go beat your chest, say, this woman, they're very, very special. And in the course of the conversation, you go know, ladies and gentlemen, gift Israel. Hey, babies. Let me represent, <laughs> let me represent Jesse, Yo! buddy. <laughs> 
don't even represent Jay Z. You don't even say it very well. You're, the way you said the hey babies sound like threats. Hey babies. Like saying if, if you hey babies. Hey babies. Hey babies. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from our uh, Gen Z incarnate, let me go to what is after Z? What's the next one? This one's Roman numerals. Yes. <laughs> because he's the eldest of the quartet. Ladies and gentlemen, our elder brother, the salt. A man of enchanting physiognomy, many degrees and characters. A man of great wisdom. If he was born in the Old Testament, his name would be Solomon. Ladies huh? and gentlemen, Nedu Azobia! But why Solomon? Yeah, you know, it goes. But why ways, Solomon? Both ways, both ways. Both ways. The wisdom both ways. and the... It the goes. wisdom and the machine yeah, it, gun. It goes. It goes. What machine gun? <laughs> <It goes. laughs> you know. I don't know what they're talking about. You know, you know, you know. No! <laughs> Greater is he that is in you. <laughs> that, uh, I don't know. No, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, yours truly is Uguchukudi, a.k.a. Husband Material. Let me now introduce our guest. It's like a reunion. It's like a reunion. Our guest is, you know, I mean, your favorite radio girl, your favorite broadcaster's broadcaster. I, I, it was such great blessing to have been under her tutelage. She followed teach me, and I learned things, and I'm grateful for where I am today, ladies and gentlemen. An advocate of gratitude. Because she be person where be say she they look say if person give you something the person no owe you all, but mm. you supposed show gratitude. In fact, before the thing even comes, self show gratitude because it is that attitude of gratitude that will put you on a certain altitude, Don't leave and me. God will give you fortitude to Don't take it to me. the magnitude. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our very own big sister, and who is your big sister? <laughs> you are our big sister now. <laughs> You're a big sister, the general manager of Lasoda. Lasoda and a joint body of government where we say people living with disability, everything will consign them, their rights, ensuring say they live well inside our society. Mm. And then, you know, every other person, you no, know, say this society belongs to all of us. Just be human and humane. Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Adenike Oyetunde Lawal, aka Kushlala. Kushlala! <laughs> <laughs> I to Thank you very much for coming. We're really Thank grateful. You. Shout you. out to Tolles Mizaya. Oh, wow. Yeah, we see you. Wow. Our Olori Oku. Wow. God bless you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. We, we are seeing your good work. We are seeing your good work. What do you know to do? Give Bill. us update. News, news update. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, nice one. Nice one. So, before we delve... The word no. delve was yes. problem, yes. Yes. Before we delve... Yes. Uh, you know, Yeram? Yes. Oh, somebody say... Anybody when you use an American Delve, professor, uh, American professors, anybody when you use Delve, say now nah, chat GTP, uh, GPT. My Let brother, Dev, 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 Dev. I can't even talk. Say, this is what people don't even know. Say the English when they give us, we speak and pass them. Oh. <laughs> the only yes. difference between their own and say maybe oin, accent. Huh? Accent. Accent. accent, not the yes, inside. Accent. I say Dev, Dev, what would they use every day? They don't hear in chatting physiognomy. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we well, really very, before we delve into it, Adenike, let me just take the opportunity to say that you are a source of great blessing. Yes. And this is on a personal level. And I know I'm speaking on behalf of myself and my brother, Unkubi, because <laughs> our first stint on radio without any experience at all was under your guidance, yourself and Nelly Kalu. Mm. And you people were very, very receptive and very, very kind. And I know, say, some people then go look and say, who be these people? They don't go to school. They don't go to school. They don't do this. But, you know, you were very, very kind and made it very easy for us. And today, myself and my brother, Unkubi, we are superstars. Yes. Believe <laughs> it or not. Yes. 90.1. Yes. After the news at 6 o'clock till 9 p.m. We advertise other people. We advertise ourselves <laughs> now. No, 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 no. Thank you. So let's, let's, let's go straight into the conversation. No, before now, you go straight, I want to say that I am proud of you. Aww. I'm extremely proud of you, Chukudi. Mm. And um, I remember I begged to differ on, uh, must look, must look. on, on, the, on radio back then. <laughs> and I'm so glad at what you're doing, who you are becoming. <sighs> um, a true honor that when you write your book, my name will be there somewhere. Oh, thank shit. you so much. Please hold you. <laughs> thank, you, you thank you. Thank you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you oh, for yeah. the invitation. Thank you okay. so much. So let's let's delve into the conversation. Okay. Mm. So w today we are going to be discussing a subject that I believe every Nigerian mm. should consider top priority. Yeah. Not be just priority. Top priority. On the scale of preference, it's supposed day number one. Because whether we like it or not, as a people, first, eh? Now that uh, humanity, 
when we they exhibit, now you go feel help us. At least make we begin to solve this problem. Mm. We're discussing or we're talking about people living with disability and the many challenges that they are faced with and the role that as a society, we also have to contribute to see that this problem is solved. Quick one. Um, I'm sure that a lot of people saw the news item where the son of the former... No, no, don't start with the son. Start with Mr. Debola Daniel. Okay, yes. Oh, oh, sorry, oh, yeah. Okay, yes, yes. Mr. Debola, yes. Mr. Debola, sorry, respectfully. Mr. Debola Daniel, you know, very um, distinguished, bright, brilliant young man who is the son of the former governor of um, Ogun State, um, Otumba Benga Daniel, and current, he's the seventh senator yeah. of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. You know, he went into a popular um, e tree. E at the Muritala Mohammed Airport in Lagos. And the encounter, aside from being embarrassing, is also heartbreaking. And just thinking about it, you cannot imagine what so many other people are going through. Talking about what so many other people are going through. You know, according to um, a World Health Organization report, December yeah. 2023, there are an estimated 35.1 million people living with disability. And these 35.1 million people if you do a, a, an addition of the population of Kano and Lagos, hmm. Lago, Kano is 16 million, 200,000 plus. Lagos, 15 million, 700,000 plus. 2023 figures. It not reach 35.1 million. Hmm. Make we even bring them down. You, you can combine at least 14 states hmm. in Nigeria and you would not even get 35.1 million people. Let's even bring it closer to home. The last presidential elections... The number of people that voted mm. combined no mm. reach 35.1 million. So we're looking at this number of people in our society who are living with disability and the challenges that they are faced with. I think a very good place to start is to first, you know, just in the most simple way, break down what disability is mm. or what it means to live with disability before we now start looking at, you know, some of the examples and why it is serious. Because some people don't even know, say... People they live with disability. They even see that and I say, maybe this one no complete mm. or you know just normal. On a like this, then born am. So when we talk about disability, what essentially are we talking about? Thank you very much for this yes. conversation. Um, I can't talk about what disability means outside of what the World Health Organization has said it to be. Okay. And the World Health Organization uses three key terminologies: impairment in a person's body structure or function or mental functioning. And what it means is there is something in your physical physiology that has caused, um, either has caused an impairment or you are living with an impairment. I, for instance, have a physical impairment because I am an amputee. And it means that I do not have two natural legs, so I have an impairment. For mental functioning, it means people that have things like learning disabilities. ADHD. Yeah, exactly. So... Learning disabilities includes and extends beyond HDHD, ADD, autism, cerebral palsy, dyslexia, dysgraphia, dyscalculia, and all these things are big, big English. But when we break it down, you remember that there was somebody in your class or in your neighborhood who they used to sing Golodo Rabata, Ojo Eba. Mm. Quite a number of those people actually had learning disabilities but did not know. Now, people that lisp, it's, yes. a, it's a speech impairment of sorts. Mm. And when people don't know, mm. people that wear glasses, um, you are aided. Mm. Without your glasses, you cannot see. True. Mm -hmm. So some people, even with the aid of glasses, unfortunately, have lost vision and have now become legally blind. So we have the blind. We have the ones that are either <coughs> hard of hearing, meaning they can hear, but they need hearing aid so to, to amplify the mm. sound hard of hearing, or completely deaf. Then we have people that are blind and are also deaf. They are called Usher syndrome. You know when you are blind, um, you can actually use Braille. Yes. When you are deaf, you can actually either use sign language or hearing aid. These ones are blind and they are deaf. How do they communicate? Bring your hands. So they'll always have somebody who is doing the sign language and they always have to feel the person's fingers for them to understand communication. Because ideally, if they had sight, 
they would see the interpreter. But yes. because they don't have sight, so they have to feel hands. We have people that have physical disabilities like myself. We have people that have um, um, dwarfs. We have people that have lived with um, spinal bifida, those ones that, that's why they always encourage women to take folic acid and take folate when they are pregnant, so that the spinal cord can completely form and close. Mm. For some women, it doesn't, so they now start to have issues. And some of them now have hydrocephalus, big head, microcephalus, small head. We also have people that have survived spinal cord injuries. And these categories are what Lagos State Government um, has been able to relate with the people with disability and they put themselves under something they call clusters for administrative purposes. It has nothing to do with the Lagos State Government. Now, I gave a general overview. I missed one very important part. Thank God I remembered. People with albinism. Mm. Very important as well. Now, these... Now, people they call Afin. Oh, albinos. Uh, albinos, uh, you yeah. know. Um, but those terminologies, especially with albinos, is now archaic. It's the same with people living with disability. Mm. So the language is evolving. There was a time where people could say very boldly, imbecile. You can't mm. say that again. True. Because it's very derogatory. True. So it's the same with people living with disability. So now, for, for someone like me, I realize that I don't have a problem with the terminology because the truth is I am actually living with a disability. But poly to be politically sound, you know, and to follow the trend globally, um, living has been removed. So it is now persons with disabilities, just like the albinism guy. So it is people with albinism or a person with albinism. This is just a broad spectrum. And I missed out one, the neurological and intellectual, where all of the mental functioning I defined under WHO's definition fall under. As you might imagine, many people do not know that their children are on the spectrum. Many people do not know what autism spectrum is. Many people do not know what to look out for. Many people also do the, God forbid. It's ah, not my portion. It's not my portion. So much so that when you take their children to school and it, the teacher says, ah, eh, maybe some teachers even struggle with how to tell the families. So imagine that the family is struggling with ac accepting or admitting that their child probably has autism. Then the teacher is saying, I'm always struggling with this child. Next thing, the teacher now finally says, Ma, sir, um, there are some indices that we have checked. And your ch in the class, we suspect that your child is showing indices of possibly being on the autism spectrum. Before I learn, like, God forbid. It's not my it's portion. Not my portion. It's your I reject it. I reject it. So the teacher is left with what choice? No choice than to continue to find a way to adapt with the child. Now, don't forget that that teacher might not be equipped mm -hmm. for inclusive education style. Might not. Because, yes, you, you are a teacher generally, and there are some things that you can learn, but for you to go deep, inclusive education is very, very, very broad. And you have to know what specialties you would like to be at or be in. So this is just a broad spectrum of, you know, instances of where persons with disability will fall, what the WHO has defined it to be, and how the Lagos State government relates with the communities. Is why if a NEDU comes to our agency and says, oh, that my organization wants to employ um, five blind people, we know the cluster to go to, to say, great, you are the ones that interact with them on the regular. We might have their data, but you interact with them on the regular. Which one of your people are you sure really want to get and be gainfully employed? Because it's one thing to actually say, we define work, we define work. Then what kind of work are you looking for? Then they just come in now says, we want to employ five. We quickly go and say, ah, you know, blind cluster, bring five people. This is what we'll most likely ask me do. What roles are you trying to fill? Mm -hmm. They say, you know what? We have a sound training team. Just give us the five people that want to learn. We'll train the ones that we want into the different places that we want them to fit. No matter the course of their study in the undergrad, in the event that they went to university, because quite a number of my people did not actually go to university. When they come on board, then they just come in and then take them up blind. Easy peasy. Most likely, um, their laptops will be modified with an app called JAWS. And it's basically to aid. Um, their mobile phones already have the app, voice, you know, record, and, you know, to, then for their, for, for text, um, there's something called an embosser. As we speak to their embosser, you can find a brand new embosser for about 4 point something million or 3.5 million, just one, the machine they use. Meanwhile, 
the local one where I've been see for secondary school, that QC I go, the stylus and pen, now that one where they go, they chook the mm, paper. Mm. That one, you can get it for about 10,000. But the embossed are the funky ones which that would do the braille on the paper itself. Mm. Last week, yeah, we found one for about 3.5. We found another one for 4.7, brand new. So I'm just giving you a view of yeah. how the whole thing works, especially with um, the different clusters that exist in Lagos State. Mm. Um, another area, <clears throat> you know, I talked about physiognomy. Um, people that have sickle cell disease mm. and people that have lupus, um, you know, the conversation is extending. Uh, are we not also persons with disability? Yes. And the reality about it is <clears throat> the two sides of the divide are there. The conversation, both sides have sound arguments because, again, if you are saying physiological makeup is impeded, it means that with sickle cell disease, our cells are sickled. It, you know, they are not in the shape that you ideally know them to be. So it's sickle. So it means that ideally, physiologically, we are not disposed to the realities that the people who do not have sickle cell disease, you know, have. And we are susceptible to many things. One of it is as they get older, you know, different factors. <clears throat> and because of the different degrees of the kind of presentation the sickle cell disease plays in each individual, some of them are so sickly. Some of them always have to leave school. Some of them, you know, can't have their caregivers, cannot even live, you mm. know, regular lives away from caring for them. It's the same with lupus. So the, the conversation is extending. We mm. have not taken a stance yet because, again, um, even though the international bodies have not specifically labeled them. We know from principle and in practice that these realities predispose them to a certain level of discrimination. I, I, I wanted to say something when you mentioned when you mentioned um sickle cell and and those uh, the, that that it should be added to disability, which I hundred and fifty percent agree. You know Ooh. why I have a brother, my my mama born five. Okay. But we're only two. Mm. Mm. You understand? I was born a twin. My twin sister died. Sorry, I'm bringing personal stories. Mona Novex. And the second set is the second birth my mom gave birth to uh, was my is my younger brother right now living a kind and then another set of twins. Now um, the the boy um, and the the boy was had sickle cell. Okay. And he died when he was nine. You understand? The girl later died in 2011, a long time ago. Now, but the thing is that I noticed from him, now, I noticed that thing, the thing began to enter my head mm. after I walked with somebody in Abuja, Ijoma Epo, can't remember her name. Yeah, that's her name. My younger brother at that time, the way we you say you go to Waka for road, he cannot do that for long. The guy go Waka in leg, go begin pain him to match ground. Yeah. Mm. So that is a disability. You understand what I'm saying? So, but I, I, sometimes I remember it. I cry sometimes. I shed tears because I didn't know that that was what was, was going through. Mm. I would, I mean, you go pick them for school. school that time. I would go, oh, hurry up. Come on, come on, hurry up. Come on, hurry up. Mm. So like, when I remember, it, it, it makes me shed tears. Did you get what I'm saying? Hmm. Sorry, sorry, mm -hmm. sorry. It makes me shed tears because I felt like I contributed. It makes me feel like I contributed to his hurt and all those things. So remembering that, it makes me understand that they have disabilities. I walked to Ijoma Ekpo in Abuja. Sometimes, you, all of us, the boss resume work 8 o'clock in the morning, close hmm. 5 p.m. By 2 or by, by, well, by 11, 12, she don't, she don't spaz out. She, I, you understand? There's just one thing, either clotting hmm. or something happening, she's not okay. Two or three days later, and then you, you go come back, work, they go give her a query for not coming those three days. You know, I'm like, no, because I understood what happened to my uncle about that. I keep telling that, like, look, this person, if this person, if not in mind, in, not be in mind to go through mm. this thing where you go. Now, just say the way we in body take this setup, yeah. these things go, they happen over and over. And this girl is very good with her job. So, it, 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 it goes out to companies right now mm. that have sickle cell patients employed to understand that these people, then they're different. True. If they, if not, not they treat them like every other workers where you get where they physiologically yeah. and internally okay mm. not to treat them like that that 
<laughs> but you know that, um, I was going to interject to say that, you know that because of the realities of the fear, mm. many employees that are, themselves have sickle cell disease do not disclose. Yes. Because yes. they do not want to be cut out Discriminated against. Even that initial um, come for an interview. Mm -hmm. So when you see a, a, a PWD who wants to send you a CV and you are insisting, please write on your cover letter or be in your cover note that I am a person with disability and this is the kind of disability that I have. Um, people are fighting. You know, someone, we, I had a long back and forth with someone and I said, I understand that there are no jobs. I understand the realities of uh, if they see it now, would they not? But I also know that even if you have a skepticism at the first place of employment and nobody flips the cover to see mm. your CV, mm. by the fourth, fifth, sixth time, somebody will flip it and see that even on paper, you have substance to give. Mm. It sounds very privileged, but in practice, I see that unfortunately, just a handful are able to study courses that we need now, mm -hmm. not the courses that are outdated. And so there's always a, but I go to school, I don't get a job. I'm not disputing it. Mm. I'm also not disputing the reality that when you, by the time you want write jam, you write and write and write and write and you just say, okay, oh, just give me one course, make I just mm. go. Mm. Anyone. So now, nah, I know they there, now you talk more. <laughs> by the well, time you now do job. it, and it's time for an employment opportunity, and you don't get any ask for the field that you studied, you are not upset at the society. When in actual fact, our upset should have been from the get-go. Like, why am I, why do I have to study something? I have no interest, simply because, Sha I lost school. Mm, mm. King Kong, okay, let me just answer that. So it's graduate. coming back to bite mm. us, and I'm mm. seeing it raw in this whole employment thing with PWDs. I'm mm -hmm. seeing it raw. Sadly, and you know, the, the, the sickle cell disease instance you have said, to be honest with you, I also send in 50k from this same salary. Then, guess what? Because of this job, this job that they can't give them, uh, HMO no sound though. Mm -hmm. So we now out of pocket, still they pay from this same job where we want make the make she disclose, say she get uh, sickle cell, make they can't still fire them. It, uh, it's a multi-layered concern. And, and sometimes uh, you find out that this because I have I have a few friends, a few friends that have sickle, that have sickle cell. There's one of them, I, I don't want to mention her name. She goes to the point that she's she's moved to the UK now. Um, there's, there, are, there are three of them that have moved to the UK. The other one tells me that, Nidu, I have to study or get other certifications. Hmm. We go make me better than every other person. We go give them advantage. We go give me advantage, advantage. So that I go stand out. Because if I get the same, if I get the same certification where every other person gets. Why you? Then go fit through away me. Yes. Because then go talk, say, ah, this person. Mm. But because of, see, I study, I get extra things where they not get. Mm. Even because of, even with the things where yeah. days yes. off. You don't get one day now. Ambulance can't carry her. Hi. For office. And when ambulance can't carry you for either UK or Yaki, Baba, you know how much yeah. it be. Mm. So that, as they tell put her for females, they just called nine one for a year. No. You're gonna pay. You will pay thousands of pounds. <laughs> So, Baba, I think it's good that we have gotten to this level. Mm -hmm. uh, you have provided overview. We have looked at specific issues. But there's something you said about provoking the humanity yes. in us. There's a lot of ignorance, whether you like it or not. Mm. There are families that mm. hide 
their children because they no consider the picking as normal picking like every other picking. Mm. There are stories like that that are bound where you might go to a house and you will notice that there's a particular room where they will no, tell somebody not, no, uh, hey, not to. Yeah. But you go surprised say somebody did there when we say then they hide that picking mm. inside there. They don't let them come out. And talking about provoking humanity, I think you know we need to, let's let's bring this home now so that people would understand that this thing can happen to anybody. <laughs> You know, when you came, you said you wanted to place oh, your the crutches. Yes, at a vantage position so that person go see him. You know, go be like, say, nah, this thing. And from what I know, you were not born with disability. Hmm. So people need to understand, say, as a human first, eh, what in person they go through, fear happen to you. Yes. Some people not be their decision to say, this is how I want to be. It might hmm. happen. You might go through your primary. Let me not even go through that. I respectfully, eh, respectfully, using your experience, I would want you to just share so that people can learn and understand that mm. when we talk about provoking humanity, we are not saying it because uh, you feel you are better than yes. other people. It is something that we must, as a society, do to see that we help each I other. I feel like hugging you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know the 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 reality about it is. Ah, okay, let me gather myself. Sorry. So I was not born with one leg. I had cancer. And if anyone had ever told me my life that, ah, one day you have one leg or one day this will be your life, I would have said it's a lie. In my second year in university, boom. Nobody say anything happened. Now house I day where I fall, domestic fall, I they carry water and I fall. And that was it. At home? in my father's house. Just fell down, slipped, landed on my right knee. Bagam. And that was it. I went back to school. This happened on a Sunday. By Thursday, I couldn't get out of bed. Oh. I just waiting they go, waiting happen, waiting happen. And that's how the story of the cancer. From that fall, it morphed into cancer. Cancer, 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 how now? Where? From how? Where? And then I had to amputate it because as you know, cancer kills. And it started from my knee. I'm a very high above knee amputee. So they needed to leave room. And the reality about it is, before that, I think I'd only seen maybe one or two people on wheelchair. I never paid attention to disability. I was in my second year at university. Eh? I didn't even believe what cancer was because now just small, small, they hear cancer. Person will make me know about cancer now, nah, Betty Rabo, yeah. because of her Genevieve pink ball and all the campaign she was doing. Mm. Ah. So when I had cancer, how can I have cancer? Of everybody in the old wild world, I mean, go come and get cancer. People will be said they get plenty of children for their house, and no, God no see them to give them cancer. I mean, not only me, my mama and papa born now. Why won't give me cancer? I went through all that denial, acceptance, before we now finally, oh yeah, let's go to UCH. You see, in that period, ah, my eyes see, when? All those is where they watch for a video. It happened straight live. We go Jasmine house, we go pastor, we go imam. Nothing we will not do. Then we go buy goats, break the leg. As the leg, they heal, your leg self, they heal. I was getting worse. Mm -hmm. I was getting worse and I was dying slowly. Until I landed in UCH. Sorry, no vexo. No. I'm not supposed to cut you. But I think I would want you to emphasize something. Eh? You were in your second year in the university. You don't read book, reach university level. And I know, say, Popsy and Momsy and everybody around you, that people will be say they don't read book too. The exposure they there. But there was this belief, say... For Africans. Make now. we put... Cartes Cartes and and label. Label. Eh. Make we put this thing. So, I, I don't know. Before you go to that UCH experience, can, we, can you talk about... I don't know if it's from culture, it's culture. or religion it's or that culture belief. Thing. It's, it's actually a culture, culture thing. Culture. We don't read books where we don't read. Yes, eh. regardless of that, is is a base of who we are. It's the base of who we are. We're Africans Some, now. We're Africans. It's the base of who we are. Sometimes we, with education, with exposure, I like you when we, you're speaking for <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. With education, with exposure, we cloud it with those things. Hmm. But when shit hits the fan, Tor. you go look ah. I need to come back to where it is. Mm -hmm. And I want you to come back to that time. Wait, now, now before, be, now, and before you come back to that time, you go, don't try every other thing we do on top. Oh. Now, when you don't try everything we do on top, you go, ah, I know where I'm from. Make I try that one. When you don't come try that one, because, uh, 
road not there, you okay. give up because mm. you know that that is the last resort. So then go is buy goat, break goat leg. Balaye, yes. Say as he everything he. where you they watch for film, mm. it happened. I don't know how to say it in English. They gave incisions. you incisions. That's it. Incisions, different places, loved ones who showed up because of knowledge now and because of well um, wishes. Mm. Ah, let's try, let's try. This is what it is. How can we? It didn't work. So now in hindsight, I see it when I when I hear stories and people tell me, I know the reality. They say, ah, been there, done that. You know, none of those things work. Some people say, oh, they tried different things. It worked for them. I don't know. That's not a reality I can connect with. Mm -hmm. In my own case, I was getting worse. Mm -hmm. In fact, my leg was bigger than a basketball. Oh my God. Yo. Yeah. Freeze was the first person I saw after my surgery. Daddy when, freeze. Yes, when I, actually, daddy freeze. When I was outside of, um, when I was in the recovery, you know, <laughs> and I promise you that it's not a reality I ever dreamt possible. I, brought, I kind of forgot I bought it. I wrote a book about it. Mm. So I bought a book so you can read it in here. You know, and that journey has invoked a human side of me I didn't think that I had. I didn't know existed. They told me, uh, you know, they've been telling me, say, uh, cut them. So when I reach UCH, doctors say, young lady, this is an emergency. This is an orthopedic emergency. You need to cut it. Ah. Nigeria was playing, I will never forget, 4th of February, 2006. And that's when I cut it. I was tired. Because at this time, <laughs> They tell me, one of those people been telling me, say, the leg, the cancer go, go. Like, pimple. So, no, it go, go. So, me, I've been teasing that like, boy. You know, say, when you get boiled, if you, you go bust up. So, one day now, me, self can't see one small thing for the you leg. You can't go bust up. I can't go quite palm. That tiny thing that I did became a hole in my Yo. leg. Yeah. And they had to be dressing it every day. Oh, so gosh. from the time that I left the... In fact, we had gotten to Muslim prayer house at this time because it'd be like, say, Christian prayer house, no work. Ah. We can't enter Muslim. Now the nurse for the Muslim prayer house can't call my papa for side. Say, daddy, um, we were already in Badu at this time. Mm. Uh, say, I don't want this girl to die. You. Mm. Now, Basanjo just brought back some doctors from training. They spent extensive money to train them for oncology mm. abroad. And since you're already in Ibadan, just take her to UCH. That's how we got to UCH. So I did all, I did chemotherapy. I did all of that. And I was thrust into the world of disability, mm -hmm. literally. Um, had to learn how to walk. Again. The first leg where they do for me in Ibadan, it'd be like bag of rice. Mm. I've been, they tell my papa, say, I know if he carry that thing, the man no believe because he thought I was spoiled. Because at that time, I had met somebody who traveled to Yankee and got leg. So my father's own was, you don't see person where travel, your eye don't open, you know, you will first have from the one we can't afford. I did, I know we use them. I took it to school. So I started walking with a cane, walking stick. After like one month, I just told my father, see, this thing is bruising my stomach. It's paining me. It's not supposed to be this difficult as I tossed it away. So for school, I know they wear them, but for a house, they be believe, say, I've been there wearing for school. One day, now my papa show up. Eh, what's he have? I explained, like, this thing is not working. And I, God bless my father, he didn't force me. But you see that person you know, where I see, where go Yankee, it ain't done in my head. Then I came back to Lagos. Some people were giving free limbs. I went there, it was rubbish. So the woman, this same woman came to pick me. As soon as I entered her car, she just said, remove that thing. Remove that thing. I said, ah, okay, well, thank God. Because she, <laughs> she, had, she had janky leg. So my role on this job now exposes me to a reality when I see people and I'm saying, yes, people want to help you to get assistive devices, but these are not the ones you should go for. Mm. Mm. These things don't... In fact, the other flip side, we say, families go, come, they call you. say, we want to buy leg for the picking. They go, come, they tell us, how old is this person you want to buy leg for? They can say... 35. How active was this person? Mm. Eh, person was really active. Oh. Is it below me or above me? Say, uh, below me. I say, I nah, don't get a problem. Once your knee is there, walking is easy. Mm. You see, once your knee no day, back there, you go, the walking is harder. Mm. You see, hand, 
is even aesthetic. And now make you they feel well long sleep. Mm. Once you know be the robotic one, where go grass. Yes. Where, if you even do the one where you feel just hook the thing there, you know if you hold them like say, yes. so you go grass do the do hand yes. like this and yes. just, so for me I'm like, are these things really necessary? Because again, there's a social construct that once you see a person like me, you want to say, have you ever thought of getting a leg? What is your business? Mm. Mm. This construct of she is not complete. Mm. Let us fix her. Mm. Let us do it. You know, and you're like, wait, no. Until I met people in their abroad who were born abroad and have highest technology tell me that I've never wanted a prosthetic limb. I'm like, hey. I thought that I had a problem. Because I had some... You guys knew me when I felt, was wearing my mm -hmm, prosthetic. Mm -hmm, One day I just mm -hmm. woke up and said, I know where again. Not I just said I, I, I was tired. You know? And so that reality exposes me now to when I see people that want to do prosthetic limb. But I say, what was the person doing? How much do you people have? They will now say, we have three million. All of us don't donate three million. I say, make could not take this three million by leg go. Mm -hmm. If this person there do business before... Put these three into million the into business. the business. They save from the proceeds of profit. Oh, they're not the year. Mm. They go come put by leg like three million. Six months later, I person go cross me and say, you know, I don't want again. I'm tired. Mm. Yeah? You cannot be tired. You now start hearing history. After all we've done for you, mm. we sold everything we had. I will not be wondering, but I told you people that plow this money back into what will bring funds. Mm -hmm. Don't do it with everything that you have because the realities of people are different. Some people get family member where they say if you take up that whole responsibility of I go buy the leg. Some people eh, like me, now go fund me. If you can't do go fund me, do the leg now. If not picking, you know, say children, they grow. Yes. Yeah, so it, it, the legs, gas, they change. Children, yes. you see children, no. if your child no grow twice a year, you gas change them. Hmm. Oh, wow. Yes. Twice a year because picking the tongue now naturally yes. the egg will still remain. You can't they limp. You can't they limp one kind. You can't they limp. And the, one of the other problems that you know we process um, assistive devices that we are currently faced with, of course, is the dollar rate. And the fact that it's on the exclusive list of government. Mm -hmm. So tax reduction of is difficult is a difficult con conversation to have. So we, we are faced with this reality. We don't have um, factories in Nigeria. We only have factories that um, assemble. Fabric assemble them. Thank you. We don't have the manufacturing of the parts because even across the world, there are some popular manufacturers of these parts. It's like German cars. Autobuck is one of the most popular and they are very expensive. So you will bring it into Nigeria. There are prostitutes in Lagos. Very fantastic one. There's a guy in, um, in Enugu, um, um, Purple Prostitutes. He does an amazing job. They will assemble it for you, but as I speak to you today, to buy one hand is running into millions. Hey, one hand where you get normally, you go to the shop, say, you, 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 you never yes, chop, fast. finish. Uh, no, in, in, you know, my, my agenda, I say, this place is too this big. This place is too fat. This place is Meanwhile, big. you get the full hand. Hey, Jesus. You know, say, another, another thing when the problem now, say, ah. I know ignorance plays a very major mm. role. Most times, and in fairness, until people begin to um, become conscious yes. and say, I want to, maybe from their experience, for someone like you now, your experience, you know, you now become conscious. It's like, I don't know if it is cultural or religious. We have, we have a perception about the human body. And person when, I don't know, I don't want to use I want to talk. I need you to also help us. Because the Honest Bunch has turned a school. Mm. The Honest Bunch is a school now um, to a lot of people. Now, this one, I need, and I would need you to help us talk to parents and mm. guardians out there. <sighs> On Because it get the one way they happen, where people see they use blood of Jesus, they reject. <sighs> Learning disability. Learning disability. I think you should talk about learning disability because before learning disability, safe. Even glasses. I was going to talk. Yes, glasses. glasses. For kids. I was going to talk about. You understand? I was going to talk about perception. The human body is, you know, is special. Mm. So most people from the beginning first, maybe uh, wife get better. You know, they say, it, say this child will be complete. Mm. 
nothing, nothing will happen to this child. Yes. This child will Language. not come with. This child will not have a. We not have a problem. Mm. We not have this. We not have that. It's not the decision of the child. In quote. Yes. Sometimes, self, we have to do all the necessary tests. Papa and mama match. Then perfect. Right. Intellectual but, disability. Okay. But these things happen, and the thing they cause problems. Mm. So, as a society, first, mm -hmm. we need to, we need to begin to become more receptive. Have an open mind. Yes, to well, these how, things. How can we have an open mind when there is the information gap? Some exactly. people don't know about these things. Exactly. Some people don't know that it's a disability like we're saying. Some people just think the child is dull. Yeah. The child is not yeah. The yeah. child is not learning. The child the is not smart. They want to get extra lesson teachers. And this child is even struggling to even learn in school for the hours that they're there. Yeah. And they come home and they have to do another two hours at home. So how do we start from? It's crazy. So where it's we crazy. start from? Okay, so sorry. Where we start from is what we're doing now. Um, one of the best tools outside of, well, more like after invoking humanity is education. Mm. Education formally, education informally, like we're doing now. Some people have gone ahead and have established robust curriculum that has to do with special needs education, um, inclusive education. I remember when we were talking earlier, before we started, I mentioned that, do you know that um, the terminologies that we use, also use have also formed a bias in our minds and we don't even know. And such that even it's even difficult for people that don't have disabilities to even walk into a room with people with disabilities because they're not, what do I say that will not offend these mm. people? How do I say it? So I always say that one of the best ways is when you have an opportunity, just say, hello everyone, once you get your introductions to say, um, I'm not sure what, what, how you would like to be termed, how you have, like, love to be addressed. Mm. If it's a small gathering, ask each individual what they would want. If it's a large gathering, just go with persons with disabilities. Mm. All the shenanigans with uh, persons with differently abled, special needs, all of those things, to be honest with you, we ourselves must come to a consensus about what would be politically correct for people to refer to us as. And one of the best ways is persons with disabilities. disabilities. Now, when people use disabled, um, it cuts across in two ways. Some people use it with the intent to be derogatory. Mm. Mm. Those disabled people. As if they didn't get epilepsy. You know, the funny thing about it is when you even say disabled people in that context, it is so wrong and it's so inhumane. Don't bother. If you are unsure, just say persons with disability. PWD. Chris, um, disabled, um, uh, physically challenged. Yes. Physical, what, what is causing the challenge, brothers and sisters? Mm. What exactly and is causing... And that's a popular term that what many is, people use, what physically is causing challenged. The challenge? Just stick with persons with, with disabilities. disabilities. Um, the dwarves, for instance. Now, their language is also morphing into little people. Some little. people don't like to be called little. Why are you saying I'm little? Why? I'm not a little person. So, to be safer, just say dwarves. With the albino guys, like I said earlier, it is people with albinism or persons with, with albinism. albinism. I remember seeing a skit one day on Instagram, and I'm, I'm hoping that the entertainers that watch are your audience will task themselves. It's time for us to change the narrative and the rhetoric. You see the depiction in Hollywood, Nollywood movies, and you are cr I'm cringing. Like, how can you be this established? This, you have billions, you have this, you have that, and you couldn't do a little research of what, you know, persons with disabilities, what the realities are like. Wheelchair, you know, even in the way they, 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 they address persons with disability in Hollywood. Ah, hello, Maje. And you're thinking, so you think that a young man who is watching the movie who probably has or likes a young lady that is mm. blind and mm. has been saying, how do I introduce her to my family? How do I introduce her? The moment this young man sees this movie, that's the world he needs. Ah, we have to end it. Mm. We have to end it. The, the, the discourse of language will continue to evolve. I, I wrote one in Adenike's book. Hunt back is also part of it. The, the, the discrimination, you know, when I saw that skit, I saw a dwarf and a person with albinism and somebody that recorded them, those people, young children, no, they were just working on their own. The person that recorded yes. it and put it on social media was say, ah, see the two ingredients for money rituals. Yes, Jesus yes. Christ. The Do you video went viral, that? yes. 
a, a dwarf and some uh, yeah. persons, uh, uh, person living with this uh, uh, albinism. Let's uh, record them. Say, come put a uh, two ingredient for ritual. Jesus, Christ. money ritual. I will never forget that post. I slid into uh, to his DM, and we had it, it was good. I will put it at that. It's the same. Imagine the the rhetoric that people have about people that are hunched. It has nothing to do with their. It's not a doing of theirs. Mm -hmm. You think that somebody will intentionally now say, oh, I want to be um, um, hunched. And be, why? why? Mm -hmm. Let them be. Leave them be. Stop the discrimination. Nobody is... You know that, You know they kill people with albinism oh, across yeah. Africa yes. because there's a notion of their blood is strong for... Mm -hmm. it is, you know one question I've asked and nobody has given me an answer? That those money rituals, those things where they, they talk, say where they vomit the money, the money they get CBN number. Mm -hmm. Who signed them? Who signed them? Now you may feel a signature. <laughs> because... <laughs> I'm like, wait, you mean that? And it goes back to one thing you said. You, you mean that educated people will allow, most of the people who sell them this narrative are uneducated men. Taking advantage of the problems that the educated ones have mm -hmm. is why one baba will now come and, I, I, that my just time, I will never forget. When I open I I don't they go. I reach a bell, Kuta. I open I see say the guy get a white Mercedes. <laughs> Let that set it. I didn't say my mama go carry a bow. He never talk and fish. My mama just jumped. Mama, when? I just look at my father, take me home. That was when I knew that my mom, as a parent, was ready to swap her life for mine. Mm. You and I know that my mother would have successfully carried the bow and the cancer would still be ravaging my body. Mm. You know, we know that. And I tell my mama, let me put the go. Before we go carry our hands, waiting with no fee. Hmm. Because the devil does not give what he will not collect back. Mm -hmm. And if we collect it back, multiply. Mm -hmm. So the reality of our perceptions, the notions that we've been told, we need to start to interrogate it. How does a person mention to you that a person that has a hunchback is someone that can is, is an ingredient for 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 mm -hmm. ritual? How? How That's does it make any sense? So hunchback, we, there's a there's the medical term I can't remember. Permit me. So lingo is very important. I beg of you, and it also goes into the discriminations and the the notions that we attach to the language. Is why parents and caregivers struggle when this labeling happens. Is why a parent will struggle when a teacher is telling them that your child cannot hear. Mm. Your child is deaf. God forbid. Why are you claim my child is deaf? I had to resolve one recently, and I asked the parent. I said, you want me to be honest with you? Parents said, yes. I said, your child is deaf. Mm. Why are you struggling to, with to accepting? Accept I said, you know your child is a child, and with children, there are no heirs. There's no drama. Don't let this child inherit this bias that you have, and mm. you will not know. I said, this stigma that you are acting, I said, I, I, I can empathize with the fact that this is not what you ever envisaged for yourself. Mm -hmm. I empathize with it, but I don't know the reality. You are the parent. But one of the best ways that you can help your child to live through and thrive through is as if, and this is what it's saying, God forbid, we are the righteousness of God in Christ. Okay, no problem. No, where can we go? Audiologists, do the test. Eh, you can still use a hearing aid. No problem. Let's buy the hearing aid. Is it the two ears? Ah, now wow. What else can we do? No, one, of the, one of the wrong, um, 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 most expensive um, assistance for ear is cochlear implant. And cochlear implants today in Nigeria is probably maybe like 20 million for one Jesus year. Nubala. One year. Just one year. That is why, and I'm trying to get at something. Ladies and gentlemen watching, be careful. We have everybody attached to their headphones. Hmm. We have everybody attached to AirPods, Eddies, Eddies. We go to club, even our churches, where we are going, our cars, loud music. Hmm. Go and check your ears. Many people have declining or accelerating hearing loss hmm. and do not know is why when they become elderly, yeah. it starts to show. Hey, like, mm, 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 mm. It starts to show. So please be conscious. Your kids are playing on their tabs. Reduce the volume. You are watching your IG videos. Reduce the volume. The overall impact, we will not see it yet. In the next 10 years, we mm. would actually see, oh, ha, what damage we are doing generationally to our hearing. Mm. You talked about learning disabilities. And because many parents do not know, one of the best ways I always say is go online. Um, that has pros and cons. Because if you go on Google, you will see what is your child does not have that they say your child has. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
But one of the best things why I say you should go online is you will find a mother in Nigeria yes. who has been vocal about her journey. The least you can do is to send a DM. Hi, I saw that you noticed you mentioned this about your child. Mm. Can we meet? Yes. Mm. Can I call you? Because some people don't know where to go. I didn't yes. even know that there was a dyslexic center. In, there's a center, I beg your pardon, in Lekki where you can do holistic intellectual um, disability tests. Mm -hmm. It's expensive. It is very detailed. Mm. But you who has been suspecting, does this child have? Does this you child not have? You get the answers. Now, let me amaze you. Do you know that many parents in the pursuit of finding a solution for their children are themselves finding out that they themselves have disabilities. Oh, wow. Mm. ADD, ADHD. Many parents are now finding out that, hey, <laughs> I have a friend now in the hospital. Say the doctor just told her that, hey, um, have you ever tested yourself before? They were abroad. No, but I don't need to test. Oh, okay, if you say so. When you, both, you don't see what you see. Wait, ask him, mm. By the time they test them, you get HDD. Never gone, how old? Many decades undiagnosed. Mm. So the experience that we're having now with exposure to knowledge is also helping people to manage expectations. It's why some parents want their children to go to some schools that is only grade A, but your child is C, yeah. and you cannot just even manage this year, mm. just go. Mm. So now you answer, hey, you know what? I feel bitter from now till more, you know, go get A. Mm. You, your child will not. Do all the less thing in the world. Do all. There are people watching now. Mass was the problem. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we know they know mass for our family. I was coming there. My brother. You know that in my family. My now only me go commercial class. <laughs> Everybody. Hey, now no, they think I'm. Everybody in a science student too. My bro <laughs> yes, now. My brothers now A students. Me be hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> because why heck and the public schools why heck eight A's seven A's uh -uh. Mm -hmm. your siblings Central High School and Sarodi Kenoski Shodo Doctor Emmanuel wow. even my sister went go eco girls but I can't notice say uh, ah uh, veterinary medicine microbiology elect elect I can't look say <laughs> it wasn't working for me <laughs> <laughs> physics no enter. Chemistry, no enter. It no green enter my head. Now this way consign story. Uh, dates. Uh, history. Now those ones they enter. I could, could respect myself. Yes. Even my immediate younger brother, our last born, he, everybody, sciences, sciences, sciences. So this talk about, you know, you just looking at the situation and just saying, this speaking, not even sabi anything, self. They beat speaking like say, oh, no, look no, at no, look no, at somewhere. No, 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 Look at Samuel. Everybody sing for him. Shame, 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 shame. Why? Whoa, you don't know, say, problem. It, 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 as you think, talk now, but that's how they think I'm too. He should say, me, say, me, are you not dead? Comrade. Because, because, my brother, I remember in school, the secondary school, I know mathematics. Ewo. Calculus. Ewo. But when it comes to accounting, mm -hmm. I had A1 in accounting. Mm -hmm. I had A1 in commerce. I had A1 in economics. Mm. But when it comes to that mathematics, but when I pass, I pass mathematics. But English, I get guess credit. One, guess one other thing. Some people don't know how to translate their thoughts into written language. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's another learning disability. Some people, when they are reading, they are usually saying, oh, I'm sorry, I apologize. So there's a sentence. You are missing out. Some words. Yeah. Mm. Yes. And there are amazing people who have done excellent. I know that um, I.K. or Sake is, is, is Even, dyslexic. Richard, even dyslexic. Richard Branson. Richard Branson. Virgin A. Uh, Whoopi mm. Goldberg is dyslexic. Michael J. Fox, for instance, is dyslexic and also has Parkinson's disease. Mm. So we need to start to change the conversation and make Nigerians with African origin and blood and skin color now start to say, oh, this is what it is. So that the children and their parents will struggle with mm. accepting, can no, this is because I see it play out very easily with parents that have children with physical disabilities. Mm. And I'm very quick to say, look at me. I'm not even scratched the surface. So if you can push your child, your child can get far there, and yes. you want. There's a child Don't that I, saying, ha, there's a child that I know. Otonio, Otonio. There's a child that I know. Sorry to cut you, my no love. Problem. There's a child that I know. Sometimes when I put it with my daughter, and go, they talk, they talk, they talk, they talk. 
But that child, when it's ah, this one that does uh, your homework, it does not used to do it. But mm. when it com- when it didn't come over, when it comes to stories, yeah, what's material? That picking go paint sto- picking whenever reach ten, he go tell you story. Even if you know they exist, you go begin to feel you go the capture story. Your attention. Yes. You go capture your and that's attention. That's what the parents should and that build is, on. Exactly. exactly. What the parents suppose they? But that kind of one of the parents now go because you talk too much. You talk too much. Talk too much. Yeah. 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 with that battery. Yeah. 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 Keep quiet. Now like because the parents right. also want them to ah, you have to be compare. very good like they this want person. To compare, yes. That you could flog the king for what he not get gifts for. They didn't know. Yeah. Many but this ignorance is not an excuse. It's, it's not, also a problem because, because you know what? We are now having to pay so dearly mm-hmm. as adults. Mm-hmm. We are they, we we are now having to own all the nonsense from the past. Yes. People are growing up as adults and now realizing that ha, huh, then beat me oh. Yes. Mm-hmm. Then beat me. Why? What did I do? Sorry. And I find teacher did not know what was going on. Parents yes, did not know. know what was going on. Of course, Peking not go know what thing they mm-hmm. happen. So the reality is the conversation has to continue. And to be honest with you, one of my biggest goals is that we have a situation where, you know, the young lady that was in the Debola Daniel incidents um, is better able now and equipped with knowledge mm-hmm. to know, understand the implication of what it is that has occurred. Because she, I think she kept assuaging to the fact that this is what we do. This is, who we are. this is our policy. And the reality about it is, whether it's their policy or not, formal or informal, whether they admit or not, she was representative of a brand. Mm-hmm. Yes. And we would deal with that representation as what the brand stands for. Mm-hmm. But what makes the conversation even a lot more complicated is that that brand has infrastructure physically for PWDs. Half of the people that wanted them to have the head of the brand Many of them have shops, businesses, buildings. The toilet door cannot take wheelchair. Mm. They have oh. never thought about it. Mm. Do you? You talk about PWD, everybody's quick to say we get ramp. You can't, can't the one that say, ah, not only ramp day. Yes, because our ramp might be the easiest one to say, ah, ramp day. Guess what? Use ramp. You see those shiny, shine, shine railing where, uh, where they use. Person where gets a rebel pulse, no fee holder. That's mm. why we say grip, no too strong. Yes. Mm. Because just sleep. Mm. You're not supposed to use that kind. You're supposed to use one that is not that smooth. smooth. Do you know that many of these ramps, hmm. even when architects tell building owners that, no, there are dimensions that our law, man, our law and our practice mandates, you go to follow architect. I, no! So when you do ramp, now like this, the ramp, did they? Yes, they just want to do it for Me aesthetics. with my crutches, eh? I know they use, you know how many ramps are they use for this Lagos? You know plenty. Because I climb like if now back, now I go just in my say, I believe I can fly. Like, do, 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 no. you, do you also think, there's something I just remembered now. Um, I cannot remember when that thing happened, but I remember having that conversation with who I can't remember. There's an attention disorder. Mm. I can't... Mm. Uh, that's, the person they live for VGC or Chevron, I can't remember, Is that not ADHD? broke up with the boyfriend because the boyfriend fee say she not the he, not the he. I don't know how the conversation take go, but it's like, she feel the, you feel the flow of the talk now. Eh? For your mind, you tell them now. You tell her everything we should hear, you the hear. But but everything where you talk. She didn't hear. She not hear. Many yeah. people have it and now it's showing up in different areas. And we forget that these things um would always raise head. Very simple example. You are you are working, you're in the office. You never finish what you do. You can't remember, say, oh my, suppose send you the WhatsApp message. As you they walk, and I email you, they reply, your guy. Mm. You pick your phone. Before you know, you Insta block, carry you, you, you just did press phone, press phone. When you remember again, I another colleague can say, ah, so where is the update on? That email you were writing that you were doing for your boss, you forgotten. 
Next morning, you get to the office, you just see query. Mm. You say, hey, you just are like, ah, I was so busy yesterday. Mm. That's why I forgot. Now start to pay dedicated attention. You, for how long is your attention span? Mm. Mm. Do you actually remember to go back to things? Mm. Do you need assistance to have an active on the go um, um, notepad mm. so that the things that you don't remember, as you were doing that email, mm. you just quickly write it on your either finish email to boss. You move on to send the WhatsApp message. So you, at the end of the year, going back to say, where are the things, the things that I left undone? Otherwise, so many people that struggle with these things don't even know that they actually do have an attention concern. Hmm. And we see it play out with relationships, in businesses. You start a business, you don't have a continuity strength. Hmm. Hmm. You start a business, you, you, are, you don't have the staying power to even wait the, the circle of the mm -hmm. process. Two years old, ah, Alaye, they don't tell us. And they say, they say, well, for media now, media owners, and now they always lie under the umbrella of uh, investment. You want open radio station, na 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 na. You won't begin to make the money. I like you, calm down. There's a process. Mm -hmm. You have to invest in. When you start to check their lives away from the business decision, many of them actually don't can't stay with stuff. Because hmm. I've had to find out like, what is it with media. Then the ones that are successful, go and look at. Do a local search. You will see the media brands that are successful. By the time you study the personalities of the people behind those hmm. brands, they understand the staying power. Mm. They are able to say, ah, this thing, 15 years, Nikini, let's continue. Mm. The consistency, the fervency. But all the other ones, see, two years. Hey, they go call, they bring all those their fake, fake ratings. See, ha, 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 <laughs> go, hey, hey. <laughs> 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 I think you've answered... This shot is for you. You know yourself. <laughs> I think you've answered the question of some Lagos babes that might be wondering why their man is not... Yeah. It's not staying. Attention. And you know that... <laughs> this one, this one, this one, Give that... That one. Oh, 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 they cannot stay. They oh, cannot stay. After six months. So some, uh, some of it... Maybe some of it might be. But this indices and instances I'm giving are not in themselves um, conclusive enough mm. to determine that you have because there are other things that they have to check. Which one is however, psychological disorder? However, the reality of it is there are some people that actually in the world of relationship have a problem with staying alone. Mm -hmm. A lot of mm. it is trauma. Yeah. Mm. That's why some people, there must be inside relationship. Just be. One year, day your day. What did that get? Will be America. Will they win Grammy? Twelve, eight Grammy. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. She get yes. She get that. She get that disorder. <laughs> Say she must be relationship. Ah, she must be relationship. You don't. She don't calm down. He gets some way be saying that. He gets some way. He gets some way be saying that when they break up, their next album, the hot. Yes. yes. They must go through something. Mm. Yes, you have to break up now. Yes. She you must go through heartbreak. Have they broken your heart? You, you must go through heartbreak. Afro depression. <laughs> Afro depression. Man. Oh, so name. let me ask him. Eh? Which I mean, before you ask, okay. which is psychological disorder? So it the ones that it will fall under things like schizophrenia, bipolar. Mm. You know, those it, ones are very it, delicate to <laughs> one diagnose. Um accept mm. and also medicate. Mm. See, bipolar, you see, that's see why that, social... We, we're talking about bipolar, but sorry to cut you. Yeah. Sorry, not vex. I'm, I'm not supposed to cut you. But let me, let me give an example of that bipolar. This stage play, this is my event where I go do Oh, the week. one you mm. did. Yeah. Uh, don't worry, it's going everywhere recently. Yeah. It's going everywhere soon. One day! Yes, sir. <laughs> no, no, you should talk everybody to fire! No, 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 why everybody just like, unprovoked? <laughs> unprovoked. <laughs> and uh, oh, you what? How you what they call it? So next day, our photographer can't remember his name. Waloba. We open the kilo and see oh, why? I'm sorry. Mm. I've got oh. bipolar. Uh huh. I don't know. Sometimes when I just scream at people. Oh. So, he shout at it's you. It's not you. It's not you. Yeah. I was going to just define it. See what Google says. Now that bipolar way they worry. It says it's a disorder associated with episodes of mood swings ranging from depressive lows to maniac highs. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. So maniac highs. Yeah. 
Yes. Um, I don't know if you saw Elon Musk and Don Lemon interview. I did. I yes, went to the yeah, I have seen And that he assuaded to the fact that he takes ketamine, abiketamine, and that's what the overdose of that is what killed Matthew Perry from Friends. Mm. Hmm. The brain is a chemical composition. So when I see people on Nigerian internet space, <laughs> I'm depressed. <laughs> I have OCD. <laughs> I think it's cute. I'm like, I don't think you know what OCD is. If you know what the people who gave the labeling of OCD understand it to mean, you will not jokingly, without a diagnosis, attribute it to yourself. It's the same with depression. Diagnosis, yes. very important. You yes. must, with depression, you must be depressed, sad over a period of time. And you must get that diagnosis from a, a licensed or registered personnel who will give you... Before you label yourself Before that. you label... you sad. One year, you sad. You don't get work. Second year, you get work. You don't happy. Ah, last year, I was so depressed. I'm like, yeah, who gave you that diagnosis? Hmm. These things are, and this is how labeling, we don't know how the misuse of labeling is actually affecting families who actually have children or wards in this reality. Now, I want to touch on something um, that has to do with um, the type, the, the nature of disability. Some people have mild disabilities, especially with neurological or intellectual disabilities. Some people have moderate, some people have severe or profound. You see the severe and profound they are the ones that cannot do anything on their own. Mm. They are, from the moment they are born till their parents or caregivers die, many of them are um, looked after. Mm. And the society also doesn't carry along the plight of those caregivers. It's why you see stories of people, even when we don't know the full gamut of the gist, you just see somebody, one girl, one guy and one girl, they are married. Next thing, they are not together. Next thing, social media will start carrying this eyes because their child is this. Mm. We don't know why they are not together. Mm. But because we can see that they have a special needs child, mm. we all presume that they couldn't find a rhythm of how to manage it, which is actually okay. But what matters most in the context is what kind of level of support are we giving to, to that person? You know, a person like Jody comes to mind easily. Mm. You know, Chinua turned Kuchi, eight... Kuchi. Two, eight, two days ago or so. He's eight and mm. he's solely dependent on his mom. Mm. She's doing such a fantastic job and I feel like everybody who knows everyone who has a child um, or a family that has a child with severe or profound disability must go beyond mouth to support. Mm -hmm. Send a bag of rice if you are able to. Ask for account details. Show up. Just go there and give a hug if you don't have the money. Send WhatsApp message. I just thought to check up on you. I know that it might be difficult. Is it okay if I buy airtime for you? Mm. Those little things. Tosin Sido too is doing such an amazing job. And Heidi is 14. And she's it's a lot. So there are families around us. And you know, there's a time that we used to say, ah, a rich man disease. Yeah. Mm. We used to call it disease. Mm. Meanwhile, in actual fact, I've been they tell you before we start the show, say, get one woman where we say her four children, four, one, two, three, four. All cerebral palsy, profound. Jesus Christ. Profound. None of them feel work. All of them, they will, all of them get adult diaper. Jesus. Where she wants to start from? All four children. Jesus. Because we're Africans, it's easy to say, ah, Najazo, what did they do? Najuju. They don't use. Only God knows what she do when she did Guess single. what? With Down syndrome, for instance, like you were assuaging to earlier, father, mother, eh, 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 eh. You know, genotype, correct. Blood group, correct. It is correct. Next thing, ma'am, you, your child has Down syndrome. You can't say, where? What did I do? Who did I find? Village what did, it? it has nothing to do with any of these things. Mm. And the only way you can test it is when the, the you know, the, the umbrella, you know, more like fetus is in utero. That's when they do the test because there are tests that you can check at different landmarks mm -hmm. when, when a woman is pregnant. But when it happens that way, what do you want to do? A family that decides to continue with the pregnancy can only get the support of everyone, inclusive of the government. And that is why for me personally, I was telling you that the conversation of inclusive education, we need to start to interrogate. Because after families have accepted, do you know that some mm -hmm. families now do not actually fully accept the capabilities of their children? Yes. So the teacher is telling you, ma, this child cannot go to primary four. What do you mean? <laughs> hmm. 
No, in my family, all of us who finish it, this cannot be the first. I reject it. I speak into this future, into his. We are not disputing. It's okay. But what we are saying now is that this child we have to repeat primary four because of their intellectual capacity. And it's not because the child do, does. It does the It's not because the child does not want to pass. It's because of the child's physiological it's or psychological. It doesn't even make that child any less special. Be okay. Exactly. It's because even... most of the you say, look at his mates or look at mm. her mates. All of them are going to primary her. five. Why does he? So, and it's really more, it's more about the parent than the child. The most kids times. don't mind. Because I was I was in secondary school and I remember we had a senior that repeated a, a class and joined us. And what did we, we care? Have any, we didn't have a problem with nobody. it. It's the parents that are taking it personal and it's their own. My child cannot. It's like a pride the child thing for doesn't, them. The mm -hmm. child doesn't mind. If you, the if class you, they are joining, they don't mind If either. you look at, so that's why, you know, that term about provoking humanity is very, very important. Because we can do policies for all you want. Yes. We can make all the laws. Lagos, I brought a sample, simplified version. Yeah, where is it? Lagos, it has a special people's law. And Lagos, it was the first state in the country to do this. And the law is currently undergoing review. And the, everything that we have said is what is here. Hmm. So we can have it. Mm. Mm -hmm. We can have it. Mm -hmm. So how many companies do you want us to shut down? Mm. How many? You know, you know the funny thing about it? I'll give you a very, very commonplace problem. Getting into financial institutions, into banks. Uh. Just a handful of banks have started to have um, ATMs that people on wheelchair can use. Mm. Why? Because it was never commonplace. It wasn't for burner conversation. Even the so, metal detector. And just metal guess what? A wheelchair guess can't what? Pass, pass. Every time you have to use the wheel, um, ATM as a person on wheelchair, the security guy don't know your password. Oh, God. That so if you remember very well, when we started to use these metal detector doors was because we were having consistent cases of armed robbery. Yes. I remember well. Where yes. they go, go, clear out the bank, kill people. Mm. So it was, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? So clearly, the wheelchairs cannot enter those doors. But we all know that banks have, you know, doors at the back. In Lagos mm. states, what we're trying to do now is to digitally take records of PWDs. So that way, it's easier for us to identify you. It's easier for us to also give you a card. It's easier for us to work with our advocacy. So we'll say, ah, every security, once you see this card, our last rack card is what we are most likely going to use. Once you flip it or something, you'll see, you'll know this person's a PWD. So it means that the person will need access through your other door. You can see the person on wheelchair, best believe. But you know, the incidence of abuse is also very high because yeah. person show up today now, say you're saying they're wheelchair, like that video where uh, Ratata posts for Instagram. Allah, yeah, they walk, waka. Then they, ha then they rent wheelchair. Uh -uh. Then they hire wheelchair. The boy, when they push the wheelchair, they pay him per day. Eh? The guy, they waka, yes, so beg. Yes. The video went viral now. Rata Tasheram. Then go go rent wheelchair. He go there on top of the wheelchair. Please and beg. One young boy, they push him up and down throughout VI. So what I was even getting at is a, a PWD that now refuses okay to be registered. Now wants to use the back door of a bank and they say, where's your registration? How, where's your identity? He says, no. Don't you know that I'm a PWD? Alaye, you can stay on a wheelchair and have a gun and go inside and hide under it. And True that. So... I'm, I'm actually pleading with PWGs in Lagos. In Lagos, now my business. You know, just be patient with us a bit. There's a lot of work going on back end so that we can even have a digital format of how many we are, who we are, and where, mm. what we're doing. The conversation is extensive, and it goes beyond just Lagos because uh -huh. we, we spoke about education before mm -hmm. we started. Mm -hmm. And with education, education, they're very funny. They're concurrent list. Lagos, they get your own limits. They get mm. where if you reach. Mm -hmm. Federal, get what if you do. Federal... Schools need to also be lenient. A person that has cerebral palsy most likely might need extra time with exam. Mm. A person that has dyslexia, because we already know they omit words, you need... What of people that... Mm. People extra that time with this exam. one, it happened... That's something we can start immediately. Where, Do you even need yes. to give that person exam? I was working... They, no, they, they need to give them exam. But where the, sorry, where the conversation will now move to is give them exam that suitable. fits... That test their capacity. Suitable, yes. Suitable yeah, not be to use other children, judge yes. them. It get, it, which is what a lot of parents and people are doing. Yes. Everyone. It get, it, get, it, get with, it get the one way... Not everybody get this one. 
because the, the first the the place I walked in in Lagos that time, um, um, there's a girl I can't remember her name. I hope I don't because I don't want to mention her name. <laughs> she had a she had epilepsy, hmm. but she was she was the best in the company then. Is that his disability? Yeah, I was going to ask. So epilepsy is neurological, so it still falls under. It's neurological. E epilepsy that. Especially for people that don't even know what the trigger is. Mm. When you watch, I did watch documentary. When you both go do, go pick up your case, mm -hmm. eh? Carry you go, they feel carry you go MIT. Attach things to your Put brain. Put this for your brain. So the time where. Epilepsy starts, they will check. They go it. check. This is what is. Maybe when the person is watching action movies. Sweetie, apple, sweetie, apple. Those are sweetie, the apple. things you need to avoid. These are the things. This is. That's why a lot must feel put cheap for a person brain. We know they waka. Where the person mind the person now in the control. It, it's even the mind that is controlling um, the, the um, movement. The coastal. Mobility. Yeah. I'm like, what's going on? So we need to also understand that these rules are just guides. Mm. That epilepsy is not a popular disability it doesn't mean as a school owner, the parent will come and tell you that the child has epilepsy. That's that no, disease. we don't know it. So it's not contagious. Yes. It's not. There was a time that they told us, ha, it's not what they used to call They will say uh, the, the spit, spit saliva. In the saliva. They not touch you for touch body. You, uh... See how ignorance had spread so through generations. There are still people watching this today. I believe that saliva of a person that is living with epilepsy can cause them epileptic uh, episodes too. How? Yes. How? People with disabilities have money. They can travel the world. They can have families of their own. They are running businesses of their own. They have family and friends. They can hold office, can be elected into office, can be appointed into office, can run for office. Mm -hmm. People with disabilities can have families, like they can actually have biological children of their own, both men and women. People with disability can adopt children. Mm -hmm. People with disability, what else are the means that they say? Can drive, I drive very well. People mm -hmm. with disability can swim. People with disability can hike. People with disability can fly aeroplane. People with disability can, what else do we do? Can cook very well. You live a normal but life, basically. there's a stigma. You live a normal which is, life. Which is what, 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 what has been my I said and what you mentioned also, is it the, is it the humane or humanity? Provoke humanity. Let, let all of us right now, because think, um, come up, bro, let's not deceive ourselves. Hmm. If you enter a plane, you want to enter a plane, you see the pilots, Carry crutches, they mm. enter. Everybody's gonna jump down. Talk true. How would you feel? You would say, no, me or not. Mm -mm. Talk true. Mm -hmm. How Even would you flying feel? Flying a plane has nothing to do with legs. Is that not Even if flying a plane has nothing to do with legs, use your hands. Nothing consigned leg with flying plane. But you, because of that person, get one leg. Fear no good. Ah, ah, yeah, ah, disa ah, ah, yeah. And that's how they say it so too. That that the way the derogatory just called disabled ni. Ah, call up my majority. Oh. You understand? You see people start. So that stigma is there. I think even for you watching, all of us, we need to unconsciously and consciously remove that thing from our head. Person, when they say they disabled, can't give you CV. Hmm. You say, ah. The first thing we say, ah. Can you do the job? Ah. Oh, I beg, I beg, I beg. If if big happen for office now, how you could take it wrong? Come yeah. on. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. And you know Why that is the funny thing happening in your office. Uh, exactly. The, you know the funny thing about it is I was going to also mention that with the employment, unfortunately, for women who are care, primary caregivers to their children with disabilities, even when we try to fix them into jobs, they cannot retain many of those jobs. Mm. Why? Where their children have severe disabilities, except for the ones that really have a lot of money. It costs a lot to get really experienced hands. So they will get the one they can get. After a while, those ones are tired. Mm. You can't retain the job. So how do we expect a family like that to care for their children away from the charity model? Mm. How much is government going to keep giving them? For how long? Do you know that there are people with disability that have medical concerns also? Mm. Do you know that there are people with disability that have multiple disabilities? One person, like four. Hmm. One family. Yeah. One hmm. family. And then you know there are people that their disabilities are such that they have 
on the go medical concerns. Person will be said they put oxygen yes. for the body. What they wear for backpack. Yes. <sighs> so the, the the disability discourse, we can talk laws all we want. If we are if we don't ask ourselves to be human first, is yeah. why I wanted us to start by that description of Mr. Debola Daniel. He yeah. is first a, a human person. being yeah. before his, his affiliation to his gov- no. family or mm. the disability. Because you it, must see the person. Because that didn't pay me all. That he paid me, I'm not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's because it's Debola. Do you know that it was not to be go to the airport and that I now started to tell, hey, oh, G people also know that he's Autobag Benga Danielson. Oh, he is? Okay. It didn't matter to the best people that were on the job and doing the investigation. Yes, hmm. yes. All that mattered was there was discrimination. Somebody was... And because me, I know Debola from social media. Hmm. I know, say, locally or internationally, all the discrimination he has faced. He has been vocal. If you've been following him hmm. through the years. So I knew that this story... That line, there was a line he used, something about uh, it's so difficult... You make it dehumanizes you. Did you hear his wife's voice? Mm. Yes, in that recording. Do, do you imagine if he was standing there with a, a child? If he yeah. had a child oh at that point and his child was a three year old or a four year old, mm. that child would have been brought up in a home where there's nothing you cannot do in this world. Mm-hmm. That child would say, You are lying. This is so wrong. Why are you speaking to my dad like this? Mm. It takes a lot for that child to continue in that stead. After a while, it began like that, a oh, break. Poor. I see no go vex because he don't too much. Oh. Everywhere you go, you know go, you don't allow. Parking bay area, I must touch this one. All of them, we get big, big car. Una, two leg deal. Where I'm supposed to park from far, make an account steps. Now, now one park beside the door of the entrance. Mm. Why? Why do you need to be told? Some places actually have signage on the Sense, floor yes. to say, they go still, they argue with security man. No, what do you mean? Do you know who I am? No. And another, no, no, no. another problem, Adenike, that I think a lot of malls, a lot of malls, a lot of companies, a lot of places that have parking space need to start having parking for disability space. The um, um, palms. A lot of people don't. I was, it was because of me. Somehow. This the palms. It was because of me they put the palms. When I did via that year, now every day they go, every week they go watch film. I go reach there every week, shout, 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 yeah, ha, ha, ha. One day the facility manager called me because he said, you dropped your number. I said, yes. He said, I just want you to know that. I said, it's not enough. How many do you have in that place? I said, it's not enough that you draw wheelchair on the floor. Put a vertical signage because what it does as well is even if I don't need it and I pass and I see it, one day when I'm in my friend's house and my friend's brother say, hey, I want to go this place so, but they don't get back. I go there, tell them, say, Baba, they yes. get. Yes, yes. I've been seeing with true, my two eyes. True, true. Start to find people, even that the palms, that they clam car. You go come see big man is in. Do you know who I am? Do you know who are you? If you have common sense, you will know that you shouldn't be parking here. We are not humane to ourselves. It's why you also touched on pregnant people. And yes. those the, the parking bay area, the special assistance is for people with disabilities, is for pregnant women, is for the elderly. Don't you want to grow old? You see an elderly person, you still expect the elderly. You, sir, please come forward. You know what I used to do before? I would just stay on the lane. Now. I don't care who you are. I'm going forward and I'm telling you, please do. I will speak to you, the attendant. Please, you, it is your job to speak to the next person you're supposed to attend to. So, excuse me, please, I need to attend to this person. This is a priority person. Before, now me go, go front, go, they follow. Sorry, yo. sorry, eh? sorry, let them. Because I had been coward. Mm. Unsure how people would take it. But now, with my full chest, I will speak to you who is attending to me and tell uh, it'd be nice for you to speak to this person so they know that I am priority for you. We need to teach ourselves. And when people yes. do it, applaud. If you see someone that doesn't want to do it, it's because of bad experiences. Mm-hmm. You don't do it before. Mm-hmm. Don't go for it. Go, go. Let me say, make you get one hand. Ah. Go forward. You see another person coming. You say, oh. Oh God, please go forward. Please attend to him. Uh-uh. Why wouldn't you attend to this person? Elderly people that are not even using walking canes. Let them be priorities. There are some companies that are doing an excellent job. In fact, I'll be honest, I went to one in Ikeja. I didn't believe it. I never even enter a gate like this. Now, me and Sheriff that day. Call the company. You know, we hate nah, them. For they, nah. they are doing well, let us hail them. The problem yes. is it's an international company. It doesn't matter. No. Let us hail well, them. I can't, I, can't, mm-hmm. I can't mention the name. There's a reason. When we entered, it's not a commercial company. Okay. It's a government. Okay. 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 So when we entered, before we even entered the... 
please come forward. I tell Sheriff, I say, well, I'm now because they get international affiliation. Mm, I tell them, mm. I tell them point blank. I say now because they get this. I'm not joking. We left, we were done in under an hour. They gave me priority card. Mm. I, you can see that I'm using crutches. They still gave me priority card. I say this is because they have international. I think I think that I think that as a people. Um, we must make a conscious effort. I have a friend. Shout out to Abed Nego Norris. Hey, Abed Nego. One of our top, oh one of our top fans. Shout out one to you. That boy fans. showed me problem. In case, it was in case I've known yes, Abed Nego yes, yes. since. Abed Nego Norris. Correct. So he had this very nasty experience one day. He could do garage. He needed help to cross the road. The person who helped and crossed the road, Tiffin phone. Hi, Jesus. He's visually impaired. Just think about it, Jesus. that as a human, eh, you see person when humanity. they're visually impaired. And the first thing will come your mind now. No, say, it's a visual, you see person school. where blind. Yeah, he, he blind, you know they see. You help him cross road for a corodu garage. And the thing will come your mind now, say, you want thief in phone. Are you thief in phone? Jesus is Lord. This was an experience. I recall that that day he called me and he was like, ah, somebody don't collect him oh. phone. You know, I felt, the pain I felt was like, come on. And that is what is in the mind of so many people. Yep. How to take advantage of the next person. Yep. It can't be person when they're vulnerable. When you say, you go look at Omo, I don't do this one, you don't go. To think about it and go through with that plan, it really shows say, the hottest part of hellfire. Now, dear, you suppose What are you talking yes. about? What of Bash? Huh. Our Bash. Bash, don't talk. Say, indoor, enter boss. My number one G is with Bash. Big enter bash. boss with the girlfriend that time now. Because Bash now, I will, I will categorize him to the little people. He's dwarf. He's a, he's dwarf. A, he's a dwarf. You begin like, stand up there and make person carry you for leg. Mm, you be small so picking. Lord. Oh, he's a, an, adult, an adult over 30. Man. Police don't stop them before. Where police, they shine <laughs> eye for his face. Oh. You, maybe you go look, so, okay, that police officer now. Insecurity oh. senses now in trigger, like say maybe they kidnap small people. Okay, but, but you know that you guys he was know that, explaining to the police but officer. But you know you know that Bash has a, 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 a small cute face. face. Yeah, yes. a cute face. But he was explaining to the police officer. The police officer see, <laughs> <laughs> maybe they tell and say, maybe one tell and say, in case there's anything, just raise boy. You, you know problem. they just said something. Mm. They said Twice that uh, disability. Why I always say to people, not from fear, but from facts. What you fail to address, deal with, and learn now is waiting for you. Yeah, obviously. In third, I've, I've heard stories of people who nothing had ever happened to where, okay, slept and lost their sight. Hmm. Just woke up and are legally blind, blind, boom, that's it. Hmm. Um, imagine that when they had an opportunity to, they never did anything in the disability discourse. Hmm. What it would mean for that kind of person is that now their house will now be adapted. Mm -hmm. You now start adapting. Mm -hmm. It changes your world completely right from the head. Like it completely alters it. And I might carry it well. And people think, oh, it's easy. I know my answer is Jesus. But yes. the reality about it is many people haven't come to that knowledge. Mm -hmm. And because people haven't come to that knowledge, it's difficult for them to relate with me. Ah, she's always happy. She's always this. She's always that. Listen, and gentlemen, I don't have any jazz man anywhere. I don't have any. I'm glad about my father. And I always say it. The first man who affirmed me was my mm. father. Mm. Mm. The first man who ever told me I was beautiful was my dad. I never worried about any opposite attraction issues. Never. God sees. Like, I never stayed with a man thinking, hey, you're doing me a favor. I am the bag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm too certain of it. And I see parents with children with disabilities, kawa. And I'm like, the fact that you haven't accepted this reality is going to destroy your mm -hmm. child's psyche. Mm -hmm. Get yourself together. Mm -hmm. For the male child, though, for the because guys with. Disability also suffer grave abuse at the hands of their female lovers. Grave. Men, one man has come to report his, they were, his wife was beating him. Jesus. And I remember that I didn't take the case. I remember that one of the cases that, you know, when we were getting the reportage was that he kept saying, I should have come since. It's shame. Oh. How do I go and tell people that my wife is beating me? Sorry. The person who took the report, huh, insane vex, say, May they go kill you for house. Since when it wife don't they beat her? And now society now say, man, uh, this kind of thing not waiting the way they tell us. Your wife they beat you. 
<laughs> I want to ask two questions. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, why did you this? It's a painful reality. Yes. It gives you to ask the question. Before you ask the question, it's a painful reality. And society should also play a very important part because victims eh, would live with abuse for a very long time because hmm. they know, say, at the end, it will always come down to her. Ah, what did you do? Why? 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 why what you mm. to what you do? Mm. What did you do? To what you do? Why you do? Why? Mm. Why are you not supposed to talk this kind to you as a man? Mm. I mean, we had Mrs. Titi Lola Vivo Adeni recently, and in 2022, it was 281 cases mm. men that reported, you know, physical wow. domestic violence. Mm. In 2023, it was 300 and it don't increase to like 340 something. Wow. Who knows how many you go there this, this year? year? Men when they actually come, they talk say, then they suffer. Physical Which, violence. The number is quite small. I'm even shocked. It's, it's, it's a law. It's a law. Did you report it though? And she said, it, and she said it, it that, it that, that many of them will come and say, <laughs> many of them will come and say, ah, that this is something that they have lived with for yep. years. Yep. But no be which kind of mouth, say? man, won't you stop Guess say, what, what, what helps debita. them perpetrate it? Religion. Yeah. So you tell your um, um, imam or you tell your pastor, the work it out. Something will happen. Let's keep praying. You will keep praying. And it's going to take me to disability and the church. I'm Christian. And there was a time I stopped going to church or church fellowships because every time it's like they wanted to use me to do practice, your leg will grow. I'm not disputing that God doesn't do creative miracles. Where's which mm -hmm. camera? I don't it's like creative I miracles. I do not dispute no, yes, that's what they call like it. Somebody will look at you and tell you your leg will grow. Is in the habit of doing miracles. There are no people doubt. who have had parts missing resurface, authentic, replaced, ladies and gentlemen. But you see that my leg has not come yes. out. Yes, Chikudi doesn't know stories like that. There are. Yes. Kidneys but replaced. what about yes. women that don't have uterus? And then yes. why did they put the children? <laughs> yeah, on that uh, uh, liver. Answer now, we did talk now. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Chikudi, the last person we could believe no, anything like No, 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 I mean, I'm a Catholic now. Chukudi, no, 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 no. no. Let, let me not, let me rephrase. Let me not say Chukudi is the last you person that will question it. You guess what I was let, saying. No. Let me not say Chukudi is the last person I that will question it. I believe. Chukudi is the last person. Chukudi, Chukudi, Chukudi questions everything. It's okay. It's okay to question everything. Now she said kidney replaced. Now in my face, she looks like... And that's why I asked you a question. Have you ever heard of a woman who doesn't have... Um, reproductive, female reproductive parts and was able to actually get you pregnant. You not get pecos. No, she no, gets like pecos physical. She gets pecos for outside. I'm saying... Hey, 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 no, you get pecos for chicks and things inside now. Yes. That's, that's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. Where did you begin to go now in It happens. So I'm asking him, where, did you, where do you think praise the kids Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Do you, know that, do you know that it's a miracle that I'm alive? Do you know why? Like the cancer I had was rapidly spreading and it never went anywhere. The truth is, miracle. Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Mm. The church and disability yeah. is a very, very important and a very touchy place. And as much as it will be exciting and great, Jesus does not need our PR. We don't need embellishment for Jesus. True, true. He has the PR. True. There's no, not, there's no story you want to share that can supersede he died. He rose. He rose. Nothing mm -hmm. in this world. Mm -hmm. So when the church sees disability, the church was first and foremost accept the reality. And understand that in the world that we live is where all of these things are limitations. Mm. If you read your Bible in 1 Corinthians 15, it states it's there. There's a stage, there's something that happens to your body at death. This flesh dissipates. So all those drama we used to do is, hey, don't die, don't die, let's turn the body, let's do all those things, nonsense. Your new glorious form is complete and that is what matters most. That is what matters most. I found myself in a place every meeting. Go the lay and go the lay and go the lay and go the lay and come down. What of Pastor Eneche, Apostle Suleiman, where they heal people? Don't where they heal people of what now? They could say, ah, walk. All those things. And those things, see, you people. I'm not saying God is not working with them. God works with all of them. I'm not saying you want to hear what's happening. And she's using her own personal experience. Don't get me wrong. Where can you go tell her say your leg will grow? 
No, if not me, if not me, be that then he can me say for good. But you know, sorry, let me even let me sorry, I, I let me side. Be, I will Nidu. be in a position. I want like, to side Yo, Nidu. I want to side Nidu. You know, somebody called out a certain pastor recently on Twitter and said ha, you there, was put a me side pastor mm-hmm. there was a miracle that they said happened in a certain hospital. National, in Abuja, no, hospital. no, no, and they no, went no. To, that one is embellishment. Yes, yes. National they went, did you see? Fine. Did you hear what I said? Yes, yes. yes. Jesus, and I'm There's saying no it again. There's no record of it. Yes. Who was that pastor? Christian. That was a... Uh, I can't uh, recall. Adunami's church. Adunami's. I don't know what you say. Yes, every, the story in Adunami's. Every Christian that watches this, Jesus does not need your embellishments. True. Yes. He's popular enough, he's powerful enough, and he's able enough. If it's headache that you were healed from, mention the headache, full stop. Don't add diabetic story. Mm. Don't add high mm. blood pressure. Mm. Stop the embellishment. And it is what it is that we see a lot True. of the times. Yes. It's why in places like, first time I ever saw them interrogate miracle was at Bethel Church, mm. Bill Johnson. You have a miracle, oh great, no problem. There are doctors confirmed. Mm. So authentic. So there was a. You don't need to share the testimony today. Don't worry. This conference is for three, four days. May we confirm our no first. No worry. Where is your former record? Hmm. They do it because human beings want actually. Many people are actually calculated to destroy the image of the church, and because hmm. it's an image. Yes. Work, working in church and being a Christian in itself is already accusatory. Don't give it confirmation. Hmm. It's the honest reality. So for me. That was one of the biggest issues I was having. At every gathering, until one of my friends noticed what is going on. And I said, this is what is going on. And my friend apologized because mm. my friend also did not know that they were perpetrating it. Mm. And it's one thing. Let's, I'm not disputing. I, my life is a miracle on its own. Yes. So I'm like, no, I'm not disputing. I, I said, do you think that I need the drama for, for my leg to go if my, come back in my leg once? I said, the, but there's, there, there are miracles in the Bible. Jesus did miracles for a reason. He did miracles, so we have a prototype. The Bible says that these times shall follow you, but not always be looking for miracle up and down. It will follow us. It's an addition to what it is that we oh. have. Mm-hmm. So if we prayed for somebody and the person's shriveled hand stretched, it's very probable that somebody's leg can show up. Yes, but the reality is I'm not the crux of your every meeting. Every meeting. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us... One day I now ask someone, now that the leg have not grown, uh, we used to be coming to church. I said, no, sir, I said, I said because you are... You are stressing me out mm. and I did not know but mm. I just noticed that me that I used to be so excited about going to church mm. I started becoming so lackadaisical about it what is good and then I started to interrogate ah oh. then I read one book one American author I can't remember now person put it right to the words that I needed because the person also has a disability and is in, belongs to a black community mm. so it was I'm like this is exactly what the reality that I'm living was as I far back then so right now, I'm in a different zone in my head, a different place. I believe in miracles, signs, and wonders. It's a part of my heritage in the blessing. On the finished work of Christ, simple. But you see, I'm not going to hear of a special story with cancer because I get those calls. The agency gets it. Oh, somebody has cancer. The problem is when they start to present at the hospital like I did, it don't go far. Mm. So death is around the corner. So we now start embellishing, and Jesus did not save the person. When... If you had acted at the point where the diagnosis was made, you had a higher chance of being saved. Mm. I, it was my knee. That is where it started. I know, do I know, do I know, do I know. Do I know. See now, high above. I know, do I know, do I know. And I'm still gracious to God that I'm alive because it is. So, which means anywhere. I did be you, do I'm early my when brother, it be your knee. It was just my knee. It, my, see, uh, but it, the day they told me the diagnosis, my leg was still there. It was just that my leg was paining me. Hmm. And it was just a little pain. And I started to swell, but just little. But I don't believe now because, eh, once, you know, say they, one time they talk, say, if you go be there, not know what they go do. They go cut them. It was, it was popular. Say, there some people go even tell you, say, yeah. no carry person go, go be you. Say, I once they that. just see your leg like this, no, they'll cut no, leg, they switch them. So I went in that era. So in my, they don't know what they are doing. Hmm. Uh, be. They don't know what they are doing. So guess what? They are not themselves. As I reach Abel, they tell me no need to do tests. It's cancer. They don't tell themselves because they also know. Doctors also get it. Mm. They will give you the diagnosis. You will not go. You go, 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 go. You go still come back. You go still mm. come back. And this is congenital disability. I wasn't, this is acquired disability. I beg your pardon. I wasn't born with it. So imagine all the other acquired disabilities, especially when it comes to things like hearing loss, sight loss, uh, with, with um, 
um, um, people with albinism, they even more like people that have vitiligo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -uh. Yeah. That's you another one. You know, saying that Mike, that way, see Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, they suffer. Yeah. There's, there's, there's one lady that trained there recently. There's though. a popular model, she, I guess. She, yes, um, 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 I can't remember her name. Yeah, that popular girl. Um, there's a woman that was training in Nigeria now when she, she got pregnant. Oh. It was yes, yes, yes. 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 She got she had preg it. pregnancy I'm brought pregnancy. out vitiligo in her. I'm like, what? If you see her, yes. she and she owned the reality with so much poise, so that she was just one yellow. What? It was yeah, the just started. Yes, yes. It spread. and spread everywhere. Her body, her lips, everywhere. Have, God bless you. And she was posting day to day to show that this was not how I was. Oh, mm. Nabele. So what do we want people like that who now have acquired realities to do if you want to keep stigmatizing persons with disability? Exactly. I see, talking about Bele, another thing also that we also need to stop, uh, I, I know it might not be directly con uh, con connected to this topic what we're talking about is, those of you that are stigmatizing women, that when you marry them, slim stomach, oh. fine, beautiful <laughs> women, all of a sudden, they come born one or two picking, Belay food for everywhere. You. Of for and now you. you give them the belay. For, for you, I love that. You're, you're not now come and be, yeah, your belay is too big. Can we stop that? And I'll ask Some people say once you get pregnant, that? you stop taking care of yourself. Stop. You don't get belay before. You don't get belay before. <laughs> even the small one where they, they carry self. <laughs> As a man, no, the small belay where they carry, you know, even you know, go like yourself. It can't be person when we say. The changes when even they you understand. Embody. You yeah, go there with yeah. pregnant woman when go tell you say he go see remove. Ah, uh -uh. shout out to Shodo, one of my other brothers. When his wife, this is Shodo. When his wife get belly, pre remove today here. <laughs> That's what her body day. Remove today here. But now you when the room now she won't make you give her the remove. No that her husband feed day here, but she no want the remove for her husband. Now you, Evuka, when, when they when go lesson, jam lesson. If you no come back, give her that remote, she no go do all right. So sometimes you just need to accept those things and understand. Say, no be no nobody could just wake up decide say uh, I I won't eat. For example, goat meat pepper soup. Mm -hmm. Now the way when anybody take blue amu, yeah. you feel bring the goat meat pepper soup come. He say you no want time yeah. again. So when you get to that point where you just accept <laughs> all those things, he get away MCIB. <laughs> the pastor right now, MCIB tell me what I don't know whether that's true or not. MCIB say wife, then he say for Lucky Peninsula that time before Mega Chick, uh, after Mega Chick, uh, that way we police, uh, they know what they say. See what they that say now that young with the rules for Balende hey. on that mm. bridge. Hey. Hey, they for Anna for night. Don't be joke. My colleague well, recently, open. my he colleague say, recently for with the VI. He tell me, say, their neighbor, when they are ja, pregnant woman, call him, say, make him buy one type of pepper soup. Come. He go in the house and say, other people, your, we don't say your husband travel. Okay. Other people, they inside compound. You must say, if not be him. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I If not be him, be the person when buy him. She no want him. Speaking of bodies, I want to also throw this as a connection. You know that the female body is very fascinating. Um... Another form of discrimination is whenever people see women with protruded abdomen, they think that women are just eating anyhow. Mm -hmm. They are careless with their health. Mm. My brothers and sister, there's a lot that goes on with a woman's reproductive health. Things like PCOS, PCOD, endometriosis, the inflammation and bloating that comes with it. I remember when I took out my fibroids. When I took out the fibroids, I remember Sheriff looking at me one day to say, Ha, I will never speak about a woman's tummy again. Mm. Mm. I know big if you see waiting there come out. Mm. Mm. And I had gone asymptomatic, meaning I know they get menstruation. You know some people they do menstruation, but they yes. roll for granted. I know yes. they roll for granted. The only oh, thing where they, they, they make me quarrel, I say, Something they happen. My flow was always heavy. You know, conversations of the fact that period is not supposed to be painful. It's not supposed yes. to be heavy. Mm. We now have to start having conversations about her. Or like, once you see woman, just leave her more. Mm. Hormones, thyroids. Mm. So that hormones that we always say, and we say it jokingly, it is actually a thing for many women. And mm -hmm. they don't know. Thyroids. See, um, Egbon Lekpasha's boss, was it not her advocacy about thyroids and hypothyroidism that people started to know that, okay, do you know how many years she went overweight for Mm -hmm. Last week she posted. She said, "I, I." He said, "She said I can't even recognize her." She posted her old picture. Yes. 
For many years, she was just her. Uh, she's just big. She's just big. Like, and uh, her, you know. And she used grand. to make jokes about grand. herself. Yes. yes. Until the rubber hits the road. There's, uh, there's something going on in your body. Oh, mm. Hypothyroidism. Hyperthyroidism. Go and check your thyroid. She did not know. And that is my call to many women. Go and check. They'll mm. be complaining. You, they go buy a week, 150. Go diagnostic center. Just go do routine. Tell them, I want to check my hormones from start to finish. So some guys will get big belly, not be normal big belly. It's yes. not. And they even face discrimination, just like you're saying. So some of them will get big belly, not be normal big belly. Go one check. They feel like fibroids or thyroid. Fibroids. fibroids. Mm. Massive fibroids. And you know the, the, the fear, yeah, and the, the, you know, the fear of, of removing the fibroids is another conversation out there. Yes. I didn't see any YouTube video now. When I did my own, I did it after I had completely healed. I know the messages I still get to till day. Say, please, thank you. How did you go? How did it happen? I'm like, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, I'm begging you, particularly with the female folk, go and check. You will see women, they do 35 years old, you go ask, have you ever checked your breasts? They say no. You will see men over 40, have you ever checked your colon? They will say no. Colon, I want to get Colon, col mm. colonoscopy. They check inside your anus. Yeah, yeah, they do, they have to put in something in your anus. Oh, yes. hey, hey. Hey. Yeah!
Jesus was on the cross. Mm. And himself thought, ah, God, you are forsaking me. Who I can be? Mm. I am in Christ. So it means that my identity, who he says that I am, everything that I am comes from God. Mm. There is nothing I can say in this world that has worked for me outside of my faith and my relationship with mm. God. Mm. And I can't sell what it is that has not worked for me. Mm. It's why I always say it with my bold chest that who I am, I can, there's no door I have not walked into. In fact, let me give you a quick story. I did not have a car for a very long time. So I had to go and greet my uncle in the office. Ah, he now said, you don't have it. I said, I've not had a car in like a year. He said, yeah, you can. I said, I drive very well. He said, there's one saloon car downstairs in my office. I looked at him. I said, saloon. <laughs> He said, what happened? I said, every year for the past three years on my birthday wish list, I've been writing SUV, SUV. You now want to give me a saloon. I don't want to. The man looked at me and said, you are audacious. I said, what can you possibly say? You can only say yes or no. Do you know that this man gave me a brand new SUV? Mm. Mm. Tear rubber. Mm. And the audacity that I had played a huge role. Be audacious. Be very audacious. The most you can get is no, the no fee paying you all. But you see, you asked. And that is that has always been my life's guiding tool. I will walk into places. I will ask for things that have expired. Say, they don't close this application. I go try it. Good afternoon, sir. I heard that you are so and so. I don't know you. Please, I need your help. People are always all this. How, how did you get my number? I say, when you have a need and you are working target, you will find it. Mm -hmm. That is what has always helped me. And these are the things that I have consistently using as tools that have helped my life. My marriage, what else did you ask me? My faith in God, my relationship with friends. I'm one of the most loyal friends you can ever have. Ever in your life, if I start by you, <laughs> you have an army behind you, and I kid you not. When I was coming here, someone did a post. I said, this today is not her birthday. I don't know how she does it to all of us. It is the Christ in me. Mm. A few years ago, I was intentionally praying and saying, God, expand my heart. I had no idea what it meant, but I always say, expand my heart. I want to love like you. Mm. I want to be like you. I'm not where I'm going, though. And I'm, there are lots of lessons I have to learn in terms of boundaries, what to do, even with the job, the things I should take on because you go, you go carry some matter like this, you, go, you will not be depressed. I also had to learn it. Ah, then you go come, come, I didn't care. I see one guy for road, now one hand he gets. I beg if you follow him talk. Before, eh, give him my number and I'll make you call me. Now, eh, now your assignment be that one, why you won't give me? Mm. Mm. Because I started to take up on myself more. And then I will now start carrying people's body. I will now be saying, why am I sad? Mm. I don't have a need to be sad. And I was like, now nah, that person's story has rubbed off on you. You didn't know when to cut the line. Mm. So now, I mean, hey, this is work. This is my life. Mm -hmm. Because I've had to learn it. So when I see people come into this space newly, I'm like, learn from those of us that have gone ahead of you. Set mm. the boundaries now. And the only way you can do it it's through one person. His name is Jesus. Full stop, come back, come back, full stop. Mm. Okay, so on a final note, yeah. let's talk about friends. Uh, because I have many friends. Exactly. Truth is, um, sometimes, you, you, you have spoken about boundaries. Some of these, are, some, of, some of our friends can make us or break us. Yes. You know? Maybe catching crews, just joking around, just playing... We don't know the kind of burden that we place on, you know, certain people. Mm. For you now, I know, I know some of our friends that call you by certain fond names. Mm. The the I recall, um, I recall. Tola. Yes. <laughs> How I recall. That name was Tola. So Tola I, used to call me Pistorius. Uh -huh, was Pistorius. Pistorius. Yes. yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm. So the first day I heard it, you were taking her back. I was taking her back. I was like, ah, that guy is not. Maybe sure. because maybe me, I know the story of Oscar Pistorius. He and, you know, somebody did. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, ah, you know, and I can't they look and say, Shana say me, I don't get too sense. You know, most times people yeah. say people have become too sensitive. sensitive and all. Yeah. I first think come um, because he was cool with you. He was okay with look, the person. I think he laughs, I, laughs over everything. You know, look, I look and say, ah. I tried to fight Tola. Mm. In agree. <laughs> there are only two people that still call me Pistorius, Tola and Ali Baba. In fact, Ali Baba adds song to it till date. 
I've taken my cross and I've moved. It's okay. We found okay. our, <laughs> uh, we found our what's common it ground. Yes. Um, yeah. I don't take it to heart because again, I know that dollar doesn't intend that I'm going to kill exactly. someone. Yeah. So now that, 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 that I know I used to wear my prosthetic limb then. Yes. And Tola back then was very. When are you getting blades? He actually wanted me to get running blades. He <laughs> did actually. I'm like nah, because at that point I was contemplating if I wanted to continue to wear my prosthetic. And if you get blades, you are getting it not as everyday use. It's only when you want to run. So run I call it tell him say, Alaye, this thing costs too. I'd rather put this money into another prosthetic limb than to buy a blade. blade. Yeah. So that was why he kept hammering Pistorius. 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 He still okay. calls me Pistorius. Good. Till so today. You know, you said that you had come to a point where it wasn't. You you know you know the intent is not. You maybe to denigrate you yes. or derogatory. But there are some people who maybe are dealing with it. Mm. And you know, say sometimes we they think say we be people friend, we will not be our friend. Yeah. Mm. It get people when fee call me all day. Yeah. You understand? I go no say ah. But it get person when go call me all day. I go first call look, say wait. Oh. Who you? Which <laughs> guy? Who you? You understand? Who you call up? <laughs> this play don't call, you say ah, this guy na mumu. It get people, ah, they don't yeah. call say mumu. It goes sound normal, but it got some people. They be your friend, though. Boy, in your quiet time, maybe when you de bath, you go look sir. She don't be saying this person not come. They think on that thing. What about when they pop your head? She don't be saying this person don't think on that thing. When they call me, mumu. How do you think people, people with disability, Should can? Handle this. Yes, especially from their friends. Humans. Humans. And rise and above it. They call they give you nickname. Ah, Mr. One Leg. Eh, yeah. ah, Mr. There's One Eye. Always, always your. People. I saw those. I feel jelly. When we saw all those. Your, so that, that, so yellow purple. Yeah, exactly, yeah. you know. So, so how I think, do we? I, I believe that it starts from knowing each other. Um, you, we can relate now. You might say something that I didn't really like. I'm not going to make, correct you here. Chukudi, thank you so much for having me on the show. Ah, there's something I want to bring to your attention. Ah, you said kush lala. No, no, no vex. I like, no problem. I just wanted you to know. Mm. But it takes a lot of maturity to get there. Mm. It's why even when people are bold enough to tell you that you said something or you did something that even you had no intent of, the first mm. thing you should say is, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean it this way. Mm -hmm. However, I'm not going to display that some people are very touchy. Mm. Everything gets to them. Gets yes. to them yeah. Your first bet is to do what? Just relate from arm's length. Because, the, you know, the things that they are dealing with have nothing to do with you. It's more mm. them than you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it takes a lot of knowing to get to that point. Say, this mm. person, this is the way this person, they fight. Not be me. Mm. So when the person starts to para, just keep quiet. Ma be no. No vex, jo ma be no. Then you walk away. Mm. And it, it, except they are not honest with themselves. I always say that I try to have introspective conversations. If you have true friends, your friends will tell you and call you out on your BS. Shall you called me out on my BS recently? I think in January, I just did look, say, hey, let me be this. <laughs> but it is what By it the way, is. Sharif is her husband. <laughs> loving husband. Beautiful, tall guy. <laughs> Tallest Messiah. Tallest Messiah. Hey, see me opening seat. Wow, I do like Wow, 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 wow. wow. <laughs> is that you like Ma? <laughs> <laughs> you have to have people around you who are genuine enough to tell you you are messing up. What you did is not good. Hmm. Do you know that one of the things that Sharif does for feedback is watch my shows that I've been on or... I didn't hear what you were saying. That was the last one I went to, the last one I did. I didn't hear, you were just saying... Shush, 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 shush. I'm like, what do you mean I was just saying? That was how I was saying. Shush, shush. I wanted to take it personal. Mm. But then when I went to watch it, I hate to watch you myself. Know. I'm like, yeah. Hey. Hey, you know, you so I had to be shouting. I don't know how to shout. Hey, mm. my old man is... Hey, oh, oh. I don't know how to do it. So I took it in good light. Because I know that at the end of the day, his intent was not to say anything derogatory. It was just mm. to make me get better. It's the mm. same way I apply it now in my friendship. So even if you do something to me, I try not to respond almost immediately. Even though my normal personality is make me talk, I'm not, make me mm. But many things have been handled that way emotively and mm. scattered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rearranging now, impossible. Uh, so that for me, PWDs need to know who their people are. Mm -hmm. Allow their people be comfortable around them. Yeah. Yes. Their people also need to know ah, if you get some days, we go day off. Yes. As normal with all yeah. of us. Not be everything, you not go be use everything. joke. Yes. Yes. You know, go yeah. funny every time now. You yeah. know, be SLK. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Nice one. Thank you so much. We're really very, very grateful. But before yes. we go, before before, before I hand money? over to... No, 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 no. Ah, friendo. <laughs> before we hand over to us, before I hand over to us, I want to say a special shout out to uh, the tallest Messiah. He's some guy, one guy that when wow. I... Wow. No, I'm, wow. I'm serious. You do, you'd like us. man too much. <laughs> when I got into... The first time I got into radio, 2010, my first stint into um, entertainment industry, he helped me, mm. build me, now, in no no say he imbued me. Oh, wow. He, he doesn't know. Oh, wow. So with the kind of stories he was giving me to read the news, he made me become a better... Oh, that's so true. He needs to be your... Oh, he needs to be my news editor. Yes. He made me become a better news presenter. And he's oh, he's one of the... I think there's a pattern here. Yeah. The, he helped. Yeah, yeah. He he helped. Helped. There's a... there's a the, Then there were people writing news. There, there was him. There was um Judge Hazel J. There was Judge McNobson. There was um Awoyale. Awoyale. There was one other lady. Can't remember her Essek? name now. Esther was my second. Esther is the head of the ah, news. Madame Esther was. Uh, Madame Esther was the head. There was one other guy. Ijoma Esek. Ijoma Esek. Esek. There's one other lady that is a nurse now in the, in the US. No, um, um, Tinuke. Uh, Ade, Tinuke. Ade, Tinuke. Tinuke. So, but the person's news that was the best. For you to read now, the, the person you see one get one video where I post one time why they read news for pigeon way to face wrong way to face one match oh, it was sheriff's news oh, now wow. sheriff gives you the news that looking at not only sheriff's news I feel look now English and right time but I go read them out in pigeon oh, wow. Baba good now we don't go training together so he was he's good like they that give us that. assignment all of us carry last <laughs> Oh, you know, say normally those trainers no go text. Okay? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> those trainers no go text. You don't have any. Me, I go to write the news from historical perspective. <laughs> it was a watershed moment. <laughs> the man just look at. Oh, okay, they go just answer. Who is Lawa Sheriff? Oh, nice, nice. Come close. Baba, you where you there for? You, <laughs> <laughs> you where you there for? You don't have anything. They don't hey. want near you. Voice of Nigeria. Chena, voice of Nigeria. Mm. I be voice of voice of America. I remember. Mm. I know mm. if you forget. Mm. So as you talk this thing, say once you see news, once you go once is it, I see. Is it, is it, the truth Am is, I must if, watch this episode. If any, if any news outlets, they the BBC, VOA, Lawa Sheriff is the best that will give you the news that you can read and understand. Oh, yes. Wow. He. No, I'm, this is not me trying to because of you hear. Yeah. I'm not trying facts, to feather his nest or facts, anything. Facts. Facts. He go break him down in a way that even if you read that for English, mm. you go understand the story. Facts. And now income make my news make me popular with news. Mm. Wow. Why? Why? He is the only one that gives me odd news. Odd news. Oh, I remember odd news. Yes. So, and people can't love me because of odd news wow. that he, Lawa Sheriffs, look, searches for me. So, shout out to you, my brother. I love you, special. And oh. there was something he did for me during my first stint at marriage. <laughs> <laughs> I like but you anyway. said that first stint. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, shout out to you, my brother. You know I love you. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, I mean, everyone that watched this episode, we believe that you would leave with something very important. That's humanity. You need mm. to provoke them. Now, think about it. Think about your experience from maybe primary school, secondary school. It is possible that you must have been in close proximity or you must have come in contact with people with disability. Maybe you not even think I'm that time because na normal thing. For mm. example, the person will go, go close to the board mm. before if he copy notes. Mm. The one went too slow for class when everybody thinks, say, he not sabi anything or they're not mm. born and born book. Mm. So many of these things, we need to become conscious and do all that we can to see that as a people, we begin to correct it. I have, you know, I consider it a blessing. Some of the people who are my friends, I'm friends with Unkubi, aka Small Stout, Come very good friends, now. Big Bash and all. You know, by just being around them, I have also learned from their experience. So the excuse of uh, uh, nobody taught me, I did not know about mm. it, it not go work. Mm, yes. We must begin to learn. A lot of the things we don't learn, we go on learn now. Yeah. We must begin to learn, and we must make a conscious effort to teach younger people. Children who are connected to me now know, say, when it comes to dwarfs, many of them go see people outside, talk, say, I saw your friend. Why? Because from the way when me, I don't let them know. These people now, human beings like you and I, then they add value to society and they feel be the best when they feel be. So this episode, for those who always come to say, eh, some, I they see some people, they will just come to say, now this one, I won't watch. <laughs> now this episode, I go watch. Not be down to us when they, if you they follow the Honest Bunch podcast, 
you go no say never miss. he not get he anything not get any he not get any yeah. episode when we discuss here where we say he not go add value to every you every episode now one person best episode he not go he not get any episode mm. when we know they add value to you so I beg not follow those people when go watch before, 30 before, seconds mm. 60 seconds can't decide say we don't even need you to even watch because normally you know they watch <laughs> I know they fear you. Yes, I know they watch. The, watch. Same, the same way when they watch now. I know they fear you. I used to tell him, he knows my brother. I, I have you. the highest disrespect. I don't know, Mr. Lincoln, you're here. I have the highest disrespect for everybody that comes to me off of that 30 seconds mm. of the issue on social media. I have the highest See, what do we spend over two hours disrespect. discussing here? People with disability. Now, see the This one, thing I went to, I don't know who they teach for university. See our last episode. See it the person who carry come, general manager, La Soda. Lagos State Office for Disability Affairs. She, you know, they see her anyhow. Anyway. She's like a blue moon. Now, once in a while, she they appear. Anyway, eclipse. for those of you that want to be watch this episode, <laughs> uh, but based on one of our sponsors, which is Adult Nation, um, um, the mommy just dropped a new song. It's called um, Ojoro featuring Alpha P. All you need to do, go to the mommy's page right now. Just type, give away day now. Once you just type, say, Nedu send me. Just type, I'm there. They do send me, then download the song, they do send me, then come into my DM, screenshot that chat, send that to my DM. How much? As many as possible. How much? How much? Don't worry. Money no be problem. Yeah. Uh -huh. hey. He doesn't say, I'm talk. It's a money no be problem. Hey. People who say every, almost every month that they drop single. Hey. Now, what for you? Money no be I don't mention they drop song almost every week. Uh -uh. Period. So just go there, go to any of his posts on the page, do mommy the jig, do mommy the jig on Instagram. Just like, they do send me. Screenshot the thing. Then said, ah. Enter DM. See? <laughs> Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Adelike Oyetunde Lawa. Thank Fush you Lala. very much. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you very much. It was a great one. Great one. Thank you so thank much. You. Bye. Bye.